What's up, y'all? This your girl, Nadia Payne, and I'm chilling with my nigga, Shad, on Shad versus everybody, you know, having a lit-ass conversation. Make sure you guys tune me in. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. This is Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode goddamn 14 or 15. I think it's 15 and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we got the homie in here, man. Got on, you know, hit her, hit her up in the DMs real quick to try to see if she can come on the show. I wasn't trying to get on. Just trying to see if she can come on the show or whatever. <laughs> see, she did music. Got to be searching, doing my little search at night whatever. And she responded. I was surprised, though, because you had, you know, a couple of little followers and stuff. Oh, so, my God. You know, if you got over a thousand people, don't really say nothing <laughs> Don't to you. do that to me. <laughs> So uh, she said she was gonna come on the show, and she kept her promise. We got Nadia, Nadia Payne. Thank you, thank What's you for saying it right for starters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't <laughs> everybody mess you get up. my name wrong. I eat. oh my god. Oh no, it's all god. I hate that joke. My name is Rashad. It'd be like Rashid or Rashid. Like nigga, do this shit eating this bitch. Like it's Rashad. God damn it. But uh, before we get with your story and you know what I'm saying get to everything, whatever, we gonna uh, do a whole salute. You know what I'm saying salute me while I'm here. That's when we go ahead and talk about people while you're here and, and not wait for them to die and shit, you know. Right. Wait for them to get that corona and shit. Like, damn, motherfucking Craig was a good dude. Got that motherfucker Rona and shit. Told him to stay out the motherfucking strip club. That nigga got on the pole, got the Rona. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, my salute gonna go to uh, Coach B. He uh, he coached over at uh, David Ellis West or whatever, and he been shit coaching for a long ass time. Him and his wife basically coach every goddamn team in there, or whatever. So uh. I started coaching like four years ago, and every time I see him, it's all love or whatever. He like the one coach who don't be hating on another person or whatever. If I ask for some advice or whatever, I'm quite sure, you know what I'm saying, he'll give it to me. Every time he see me, it's all love. It's always what up and all that stuff. His kids cool and stuff. From the looks, I guess, you know what I'm saying, him and his wife is, you know, doing a good job as far as like raising their kids and the coaching side. So that's my goddamn salute. Coach B, what up? Keep doing you, dog. So, uh, Nadia, who you got? You got somebody? Because I had one guest who was just like, they couldn't think of nobody. Like, goddamn, you selfish. Because, like, <laughs> you can't think of nobody say you love shit. <laughs> well, you know, everybody usually do the usual, like they mama, they daddy, mm-hmm. and all that other stuff. But I think I'm going to be different. And mm-hmm. I'm going to say salute to my nephew. Okay, okay, okay. He's three, about to be four. Right. And I know he's pretty young. <laughs> yeah. You know, people say, oh, no, that's he, a baby. No, he's, like, I look at him as the next generation. Mm-hmm. And really, without him, I wouldn't be the the person that I'm supposed to be today. So okay, okay. salute to you, Cartier Teron Payne. <laughs> so what's up? What's up, little man? This your uh this your your brother kid or your or your sister kid? Uh uh-uh, uh I only got one brother, okay. me and him, and okay. it's his kid. Okay, okay, okay. His That's firstborn. He claimed he ain't having no more, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah, his firstborn because you, you got you have kids? Mm-mm. Yeah, so that's gonna be like your your you know your kids. That's like my road dog. Yeah, really, yeah. really my road dog. Yeah, that's how my little brother is with my son. My son old as hell. He's thirteen. I had my son, I was a young dude. I was trying to get in them skins early. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before we get off subject, like, when you don't get enough practice, you want to get somebody pregnant off the rib. Like, once you get that consistent, then it'd be like, damn, this shit, like, I never knew. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> trust around. me, I know. I, I mean, I didn't start till I was 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's good. Yeah. These girls nowadays is like goddamn 12, but I mean, no, nine. Crazy stuff, like, yeah. No, that's rape around that time. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I look like if I had a dog, I'd be ready to go to jail right now. Luckily, I got two boys right now. I ain't gonna lie, like when I was in school, like I'll say high school, mm-hmm. and you know, it used to be older guys coming there yeah. or whatever. And that's why people who getting off into this whole R. Kelly situation, yeah. I just be looking at them like, wasn't you the same one in school mm-hmm. that had the older guy pulled up yeah, in yeah. that new car and you used to go off for <laughs> hours with them Man, or whatever? You like, say you new car. Shoot, I was seeing people come in with a goddamn Corsica in that you boy. Said goddamn, <laughs> they 21, she's 16, so she, oh, you got a car? Shit, it could be anything. They about to hop in that whip real quick. Well, you gotta think about it. I went to a suburban school so some of the okay. girls there was kind of yeah. bougie a little bit so okay. yeah we, matter of fact, we gotta get on that because that's how we usually start with the, your upbringing but i know it's still early in the year it's only march or whatever you know what i'm saying 2019 
Well, give me some ups and some downs of the year that you know what I'm saying that that happened last year. If it was no downs, then you ain't gotta say nothing. No, it was, no. Well, <laughs> I ain't gonna say 2019 for me was a down year. Yeah. It was really more so a learning experience for me. Like okay. it was a combination of I done saw people for what they were, yeah. and I guess you could say like I was naive when it came down to certain people who yeah. I was having mm-hmm. a relationship with and when I say relationship I mean friendship <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so I was about to say, uh, <laughs> no not like that <laughs> <What cred do? laughs> no no I mean I, I mean like just people who I was cool with or whatever yeah, and then it was just it was more so like that for me and then I was trying I was one of them type of people that if I was good I wanted to make sure everybody if you was my peoples I wanted to make sure yeah, you yeah. was good yeah, but then sure. so we said yeah. relationships like do you be feeling like sometimes when you trying to, you know what I'm saying, come up with whatever you're doing, sometimes friends can hinder that or like mess you up or hold you back? And then sometimes you got to break out that junk. Because a lot of times when you grow up and you get older, shit, shit change. Yeah, for real. Y'all, y'all have different goals and stuff like that. You be feeling like, is, is it more like, you think like friendship things that kind of messed up as far as your, you, when you say relationships? Like, um, I think it was more so like... It was more so like having people telling me, you know what I'm saying, oh yeah, this, yeah, that. And mm-hmm. then, see, me being me, I'm kind of hard headed to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah. Like, I will listen to your opinion. Yeah. And if it makes sense, I may take heed on it. But yeah. if it sounds like you just talking, then it's like, <laughs> it, it, no, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You, so, you, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, well, should we talk about your, uh, you know, you touched on school, suburban stuff. Like, give me your uh, your upbringing. Like, you grew up two-parent household or east side, west side? Or... Well, my upbringing was very complex. Let me start off right there. Okay. I was um, I was born in Michigan, of course, but my family, they moved around. Mm-hmm. My people's was literally like, you know the story, Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, my yeah. mama was the one that took the higher on my dad he was a street dude or okay, whatever okay, so sure. yeah, you yeah. as you can see yeah. like yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. so but one thing about my peoples they always said they did not want me nor my brother to grow up how they grew up yeah, yeah, but yeah. we did get a touch of that life okay. for a certain amount of time yeah. but um i'll say like when i became a kid mm-hmm. on up we really just been like between in Southfield, and we was mostly on Finkel because that's where my dad grew up, oh, yeah, or whatever. So we was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we was like both, uh, both places. But really, my upbringing, I was, I grew up in the um all boys neighborhood because okay. it was like it was older girls, but they was like yeah. grown or whatever. Yeah. So I guess you could say to a certain extent, my aggression, you could tell like I've been around men a lot or whatever. So. Yeah, I was listening to your uh, to your CD. We get on that, but I, I kind of tell you know, saying it's a little different. Ain't no little you know. You know, saying prissy junk or whatever yeah yeah so, uh, so what um like coming up you say you just you and your brother right yeah you, you would never like damn wish i had sisters to go ahead and you know what i'm saying like well i got sisters now but yeah, yeah that's another conversation <laughs> oh sure yeah yeah so what high, what high school you go to i went to southfield high southfield high mm-hmm. that's right there well tim uh Tim and Lasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we just had a uh, game up there, or whatever. So I was high school. Like, would you like that, 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 that quiet person, the the funny person? What, what would you in high school? I I was the one that I want to say I was the popular person, but I did knew a lot of people. Most of mm-hmm. my friends was in Detroit. Okay, okay. Like okay. I had a lot of Detroit friends. Like I had a couple people that went to that school that I was cool with, but. Mm-hmm. As far as like my main people, that was like my, yeah. you know, yeah, 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 Detroit yeah, all the yeah. all the way. So, so. I bet that you felt like what the Southfield kids, you felt like they were soft. Like no, <laughs> it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That. It just some of the some of the people there, like. I either went to school with already mm-hmm. and then it's kind of like they didn't grow up and went yeah. on their own or whatever yeah, okay, and then yeah. some people I didn't really have really that much in common with yeah. and the ones I did talk to you know just like yeah. how you grew up you know yeah. what I'm saying like they yeah. be around for a certain amount of time yeah, so. yeah cause sure I went to a uh, Detroit public school all the way until until 7th grade 8th grade she, my mom tried to get my little brother into the school I was at Gave him the new address. I'm like, hold on, he relates to Rashad. I'm like, yeah. Oh, tell him his ass can't come back in no more either. So I had to go to a. I went to a white school from like eighth, ninth, and tenth grade. Well, that my junk. brother, he he he, yeah, yeah he that, was different in school. Man, that junk was terrible. He stayed getting kicked out. Yeah, I went to a white school. Like, dog, I ain't never seen any white people in my life. Like, I cried my first day in eighth grade. Like, cause send me back to the hood, please. I, I can't take this shit. Ain't no nothing. More. Ain't nothing like the hood. <laughs> yeah. So in high school, would you like getting into sports or anything? Yeah, I ran track. I yeah. did dance um so i did i did very few um yeah. things in high school so yeah, yeah. now we know you, you know say you do music but was it like back in high school did you have like any like dreams like damn i want to be this or that and you was like honestly i'm like i'm gonna keep it honest with y'all yeah. I, I, I 
always knew that I wanted to do something in entertainment because before I did music, I did modeling for since I was 18 and I stopped at 24. Yeah. Because I stopped because at the time I was trying to pursue the what they call it, the high fashion, the print and all that. And mm. I was in a competition and I had one for new model of the year at the time. Okay. But what they was asking, they was more so looking for like that old school, yeah. skinny. Yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. And it's like, and then they told me I was too urban. Okay. I was too, in other words, I was too thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, how? <laughs> <laughs> I'm little, so yeah. it's just like, how? They want so, you to be 92 pounds. Like, man. You come in, boy, skate. Man, if I throw it for you, come in here real quick. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I be. So after high school, you know, saying graduate, whatever, was uh, you go to college or? Uh-uh, I didn't like, go to college. Forget that. You, like, what college ever on your, on your mind? You was like, you know what, I'm good. At first it was, but then, I guess you could say later on in life, I figured yeah. out you can learn just as much yeah, on the yeah, street. Yeah. Been in school. Right now you can go to YouTube University and shit. Man. <laughs> like everything. But no, in high school, I think the only reason why I ever got good grades because I'm like, I had hoop dreams like every other kid. I wasn't thinking about no type of music. And then, like I told the last guest, shoot, ninth grade, I was like 5'3, about 115 pounds. <laughs> and then I was. Anything can happen. I mean, yeah, AI was short. Yeah, so, I, I only went to 5'8. So, at 5'8, if I grow to 5'8 in one year, I'm like, bet, I'm going to be 6'1. See, I'm still 5'8. That shit uh-huh. didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> So that junk, like, that junk, you know what I'm saying, kind of like, not hooping was like, all right, man, it's, I got to find something else to do. I tried the school junk. I was, wasn't going to go out down south, but I was too scared to, to leave Michigan or whatever. Why? Because I I had my family up here. I'm, I'm a, I was I was a pussy at the time. Like <laughs> You should have won. I know. I had you got the best experience of your and life. And I still went to an all-black little HBCU school, whatever. My uncle had to hook up. Only thing I had to do was go down there and take a test. And I would be in, be in. Tuskegee. What up, Corey, man? I messed up. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I stayed here, whatever. Went to um, Macomb. I was trying to go to Eastern, but it was like, you got to have some, you know what I'm saying, these two classes I had because I had low grades in high school, whatever. Okay. So I went to Macomb that first month. So my son mom was like, I'm pregnant. I'm like, damn, fuck school. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get a job. Like, so that was the that was end of school for me, man. So you said right out of high school. What, what was you doing right out of high school since you didn't go straight to school? Well, like I said, I was doing that modeling, and then I had did that for a couple years, and then I really just worked, to be honest with you. Traveled in and out of state, and of course, at the time, I was a party girl. Thank God I quit that. (laughs) So... (laughs) Hold on, hold on, party. Let's go back to that. (laughs) The whole... Because I remember I was like from age 21 to 25, I was in the club hard. Like, what were some spots you was hitting up? Like tough, should, should, I, should I say it on on record? <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. It was so long ago. Um, I guess you could say at the time yeah. it was um Club Fame. It was oh, one. Sure, I heard it. What is it? That I, I want to say in here Tramic. Okay, okay. I want to say yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, because mm. I was just downtown for the most part, like San Andrews. Plenty. Yeah, I hit San Andrews. Yeah. I mean, um, everybody took a, a foot in the San Andrews. Yeah, it, it was many. It's it so long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah That yeah. should tell y'all how old I am. <laughs> so you said while you were just working, give me your uh, give me your worst job. Really, the only the well, like a job like man, I gotta go fucking work. I mean, even though we say shit every day about whatever job I don't we got, think I have a worse job because yeah. I didn't look at it as a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just look at that. Let me get some money in my motherfucking pocket. Yeah, and then I'll go on by my business. So mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, well we know, you know what I'm saying? I got you on the show because I heard your music, whatever. As far as you uh, you know, saying rapping, being a little hot spitter or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> when did you start rapping? Was it early? Was it older? Like when you start rapping? Or when did uh, you professionally or just Just when you wanted to start your, your first time writing a, a verse, like, man, I'm about to write this fucking verse and see how it sounds. Well, I started just writing period, um, since I was younger, cause like I used to do spoken word too. So okay, okay. that's where like as you can see, all that came from. Yeah. But as far as doing it professionally, two thousand seven the end of two thousand no, wait a minute. The end of two thousand sixteen, I'm wrong. I didn't get started yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you yeah, you kinda you, you, you kinda started a little late then as far yeah. as like so you wasn't thinking about that in high school or nothing like that, middle school, like some people be like, oh shit, you know, I was eight. No, like, <laughs> I, I mean, like, like I said, like, I always wanted to do entertainment, period. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. didn't know, like, what was my lane. And then, yeah. you know, like, like I said, like, I did the modeling thing, and then you saw how that turned out. And then, mm-hmm. so I was just like, it wouldn't hurt to try. I mean, everybody doing it, so why yeah. not? So, <laughs> I feel that's how it was, man. When I found out I had son in a way, I'm like 18, 19. I'm like, dang, what's the quickest way I can get rich? Like, I mean, I can rap. For real, like literally, that's a hustle. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, what I used to do, like I told the last person, I used to take like the first two bars for somebody's song, cause I didn't know how to start a song off. 
And then I finished it. And then it was like one song my uncle slash producer, whatever. I know he had tell me the truth on some shit. So I'm like, dog, listen to this song. I was on uh, MySpace at the time. <laughs> that was a while ago. And I had this song called... We know how old you are. Yeah. <laughs> I had this song called 24s or whatever. Me and my homeboy, Reg. And uh, he's like, dog, that, that shit dope. And I'm like, bet. So cause with that song, though, it took like three verses I broke down to make one verse. Really? Yeah, because I, I, what I used to do was I'd write every day. And if it was a whack-ass verse, I know it was like at least three or four bars that stand out. So my boy, his his verse was so hard, I'm like, dog, I got to match his shit. So I'm sitting here taking pieces from like three or four different verses and made shit one of the motherfucking highest verses I ever had. So, hey, shoot. Y'all start somewhere, got to crawl for you walk. So, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. So you writing like... Like when you started, like how how was was it trash or like just how you, how you because some people don't know how to write a song a structure song like how was it when you first started doing that shit? As well, for blunt, me, as like blunts being passed. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, um, I guess you could say like I was um being too too lyrical. Okay. Like too lyrical because yeah. like as <clears throat> as music went on, people were telling me like according to the beat or like where you trying to go with the song you yeah. can't be too whatever on that particular song like in other words if it was like a hype beat yeah. to where like you could play in the club you can't be too complex on yeah, that yeah, unless it's, sure. that's just the type of artist you are yeah, then that's yeah. something different yeah. and if you want to talk about something deep then yeah you can probably like do that so really it just depends yeah. but when I first did it I was too complex <laughs> like I was I was thinking super super hard now yeah. it just like wherever comes comes yeah, but yeah, yeah. at first Woo wee! <laughs> yeah, that's how I was. Cause I, I think my problem was I was trying to rap like my shit sound like it was red. I was trying to rap on beat so goddamn hard you could hear me like basically read my shit. So it was like, dog, like you trying too hard. And like I was just telling a little bro before I came up here, like I was always trying to get in that deep ass, you know, what I'm saying Tupac shit. Like, but then sometimes you gotta have that opening song to get people, to, you know, what I'm saying to draw them in or whatever. So you gotta have that type of, you know, what I'm saying of course that Detroit song or maybe a song just niggas can relate to. That's crazy. It's crazy you said Tupac because that's like my favorite rapper. Yeah, it's my favorite rapper. Ever, like, like that's the first person. Like, like, like go back. To, like I'm gonna go back a little bit back to your bring up. When uh usually when we fuck around with music and shit as she coughs, um, <laughs> that's the one with the pink panties. What the purple panties? I say pink panties. Shout out to purple panties. I know, and I'm good. I'll be the bitch dead. <laughs> but uh usually we get our music, the uh the music that we like from our parents or whatever. So the only rap music that was being played in my crib was Tupac. Okay. That's it. So that's the only rapper I knew about. Besides, like, the little bullshit rap, MC Hammer, Criss Cross, and shit like that. He bullshit rap. Oh, my God. Yeah, because, you know, MC Hammer was posting the bumps too, too legit. You know what I'm saying? I was loving that shit, though. Shout out to Hammer, because he'll beat your ass, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> niggas say, hey, scared Hammer, though. But, like, who was your mom and them playing? Or your dad playing? That I think me and you probably had grew up the same, because my peoples was Tupac. Mm -hmm. And I guess you could say, like... You know how girls say, like, they see their first love and everything? Yeah. That was my first love. Because, yeah. like, he was both my daddy, yeah. my dude, and, like, <laughs> my alter ego yeah. in a way. Like, yeah. all in one. And yeah. then it was kind of weird because people were like, why you like Tupac so much? I'm like, listen, man. I ain't never met that man, <laughs> slept with that man, nothing. But... Hey, I would defend him to the end yeah, with yeah. anybody. But Tupac got away with shit that niggas couldn't even get away with. Like, nigga but see, no back ring. then, they didn't have social it. media. Yeah, yeah, for it sure. wasn't no camera phones like that. Yeah. It was just hearsay back yeah, then. Yeah. So. But Tupac was the truth. Who else? Who were people your moms and was playing? Like, my mom was playing like, dude. I, you listen to all type of shit in my career, like rock and roll. You listen to motherfucking reggae, R and B, well, um, old school. Well, I didn't get like really into like the other genres until like later on in life. But as far as growing up, it was really mostly hip hop. Yeah. Of course, I said Tupac. Then it was Biggie, yeah. <clears throat> and um, and then of course we had threw in of course some old school at yeah, the time, yeah, like yeah. the Isley Brothers, oh, yeah, Luther yeah. Vendross, like yeah. them type of people. So. And to a certain, again, to a certain degree, I got an old soul. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, well, so. We just talked about that on the, on the last show, like, as far as, like, how, you know how long the motherfucking R.B. songs used to be compared to now? Like, a R.B. song back in the day was, like, five, six minutes. Compared to now, it'd be, like, two or three minutes. But so, that's because music back then had more substance. Yeah. No but shade. Then, but then, like, mama, mama. And they can say that shit for, <laughs> for three minutes. Like, mama, mama. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, like, like I said... I'm thinking like, damn, them niggas, like my dad and, them, and my granddad must have had a lot of pressure on them. Because if you listen to a seven-minute song, you you have access to a seven-minute song, and you come before that song is over with, like, 
what the hell, nigga? Like, song ain't over. Like, hey, motherfucker, this song was long. Like, that motherfucker, five minute song, cuz. Like, For real. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you get beat by a song two minutes, then song wrong, cuz. Like, damn. I, I think, get- like, it's stopped. <laughs> I, I, I ain't going to be honest. Like, people don't want to give him his credit, but I say people like, Chris Brown and yeah. even Trey Songs, like yeah. they was some. No, I ain't even gonna say that. I mean, I'm gonna throw them in there, yeah, but yeah. it was more people. They just very underrated. Like Sammy, he was. Oh, he yeah, brought yeah. like people. Like no, people like them. It was cold too. Uh, they can sleep on Lloyd. Lloyd was sweet though. Lloyd was like Lloyd made some good music though. I, I mean, I, I know he cleared it up, but don't it sound like to you in that one song when he was like she five two or fine oh, yeah. two? Which yeah. one did he say? Know, like, that song was hard. Yeah, that's when Wayne was the man. He he a goat, but I don't know. Wayne, you falling off, cause you got the fucked up dress. Cut the bitch up. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's man. Wayne still the goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being boy. Like, don't be a man South Central. Like, <laughs> Foam at the mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> but with you, like yo, um. Yeah, would do, do you write your own music? Yeah. Would you ever? Would you ever let somebody write your own music? Now, how you feel about that? Like, as because I asked that because you know a dude, hell no. Like, and if they find out, like when they were saying about Drake, you know, saying the whole Meat Mill battle, it's like niggas was writing his songs and stuff like that. It's like and Diddy, like they discredited those people, Kanye West, like or whatever. Like, as a female, I always wonder, like, are you? Uh, will you be cool with you know saying somebody writing your songs or whatever? Or it depends on what type of song or if it's like some R and B. I mean, that's I'm gonna sound very contradictual, so I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Yeah. I'm I ain't gonna say I'll be open to it. Yeah. Like if it was a situation, say like Pharrell or somebody. Oh yeah, it's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they have it's because like at the end of the day, when you make just a product, period, it ain't yeah. about you. It's the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And if you trying to get to that bad bag, yeah, yeah. like it's one thing getting to the bad, but if you trying to get to that bad bag, I'm talking mm. about hitting mainstream and all that. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Like yeah, Nikki yeah. and all that. I'm pretty sure Nikki write her own stuff, but she had contributors. Mm. Now, if he want to contribute, I'll be open for it. Yeah, 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 but yeah, if you yeah. talking about just writing my stuff from top to bottom, yeah, <laughs> it might be a problem. Because yeah, can't nobody tell your story or tell your thought or process to you. Sure. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then, like I say, even my man who was writing Drake shit, when I listened to the um the little sample version of his, this shit was trash. Drake put that motherfucking Drake to it. <laughs> that bitch sound good. Like, well, you real, know, some real. people it's just it's kind of like what Charlemagne said. I don't know if I'm a word it right, but he yeah. said something like people are good at preparing it, others is good at delivering it. Hell yeah. So hell yeah. Because sometimes your delivery, <coughs> you can have a hard shit delivery be all fucked up. So it's, you give it's it to somebody else. You, and then. So you say it gets to the bad bag and all that junk. Especially, you know, when you get to a, a super bad, that means signing with a major. Basically. So, so I know you heard. Well, the, uh, I won't even say that because there's people that's independent and they yeah. way successful. But yeah, but you heard about off. the whole uh, the whole male uh, male <laughs> Meg the Stallion. Oh, about her um, dealings with mm. fifty. I mean, was it fifty one or fifteen? So, fifteen four. I don't know. But. It was something <laughs> like that. It was five one. I remember. Yeah, but they were saying like her. Uh, I guess like you know, Rock Nation is her management team, and they were saying like how she was basically getting fucked over because it was like a sixty forty split. But with her forty, they was dividing that shit into studio time, uh, different shit like that. Like kind of like shit. Like they sixty percent was they sixty percent. Her forty percent had to get. You know what I'm saying? Dividing into things that they was doing for her, like studio, music videos, shit like that. See, I ain't gonna lie, like, like again, like, I didn't... Well, I'm pretty sure everybody don't know much about the music unless you, like, be up in there. Mm-hmm. But at least from what I understand, I thought, like, contracts like that, when you do contracts with, like, these labels or whatever, whatever mm-hmm. percentage you give to them, that's... They take that and just do, you know, and then yeah. your little whatever you get, you, you. it's just to you. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure. Because mm. I love Megan Thee Stallion. I yeah. do. That's okay. my girl. <laughs> hey. With them strong needs. People be trying. There's a little side note, but people be saying, she got strong needs. I'm like, listen. <laughs> me and her, she got competition. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> but, um, but no, like, um, like, at least that's what I they thought. That. And that's probably why, um. Oh, that's probably why, like, you know, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, she being this, that, and the third. And, the, and then I thought that the Rock Nation was, like, the distributing 
Um, they was did doing her distributes. I don't know because I think with Rock Nation, like you either be signed with them as far as like they label, or you can be signed with them as a management. Because I think me Mill signed to Atlantic, but he got Rock Nation as his manager. I think the same with Wale. Wale signed to Atlantic, but he got uh, uh, Rock Nation as they as his manager. So oh, I Rock guess Nation they looked out here. Yeah, for real, they got sports everybody. So I guess they looked at the contract like, hey girl, you getting fucked over real quick, like right. for real, for real. So and not it was crazy. It's like I was looking at um a blog site. Um, well not blog site. Let me rephrase that. Mm-hmm. I was looking at a blog. She go by um, Impressive Channel, and she was talking about this particular situation. And from what I remember, she was basically saying like Meg The Stallion was not wrong in like mm-hmm. like what she was fighting for. Yeah, yeah. Like really, and then people misconstrued that part. She wasn't trying to leave. Yeah. Fifteen or whatever it's the name was. Just she just wanted to read. Yeah. Like, what's wrong with need to renegotiate? They were saying on the flip side, like as far as her, because I guess her mom had signed that contract for her, and her mom, you know, passed away or whatever. But they were saying like how um, put some music, put an album out first before you start talking about it. So then you put the music out, make the money, see how sales go. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it ain't much though, so we yeah. <laughs> we gonna keep that all that shit. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? That killed the corona real quick. Shit, that's <laughs> all. Right, you silly. <laughs> Yeah, but the whole 64 thing, like, yeah, that shit can be fucked up, for real, for real. Like, at the end of the day, you, as a rapper, though, you gotta, like, I mean, it's hard to know what you, you know what I'm saying, what you got, whatever. Because, shit, you, like I said, you coming from a, a place, like, we come from the hood, or we come from a, a, a come up, so you never know what the fuck you signing, or until the, until afterwards. So, like, with her, they was talking about, like, how she should, um... she should do an album or two before she try to renegotiate, so she can, she can prove to them what she worth. That wow, <laughs> cause I'm sitting up here. I, I literally, I, I, I'm sorry. I pretty, I'm pretty sure many artists yeah. thought what I was thinking. Like yeah. the sixty was for like wow. Yeah. Hell yeah! I, I, all I know you is, thinking that sissy take care of business, and the forty was just yeah. like yours yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But wow, you learn something new every day. Hell yeah! So as far as on the come up, like would you would you sign three sixty deal just to be out there? Cause, w- mm. cause three sixty deal, from my understanding, is basically whatever you do. Uh, even outside music, they get, they get, they getting some money. Like they own your, they own basically they own your rights. I, I, I don't know because it's like I, I want to say no only because like whatever you like, you gonna get back. It's a hundred percent. You of course you gotta break your team off and everything. Mm-hmm. But besides that, that ain't really really pretty many money. Yeah. So really, it's just like no because it's just like all of it can go to me. But then it's like. At the same time, these people got connections. They got yeah. plugs. They yeah. know people. They yeah, can put yeah, you yeah. on plug. So they're just like, I don't know yeah. for real. So right now, with your with your music, what 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 you want to you want you want to go major or you want to go independent or you want to do like a um a partnership deal like as like they, they like you know because that's that's probably the best thing because I with me if I was getting signed first off I want. Either I want to own my rights, or I want to put uh, at least a percentage of my rights. Cause when they got you, you know, what I'm saying the rights to your music, that means that no matter how much you know, what I'm saying they can they can sell, 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 but they always gonna get that percentage. But if you own your own masters, then that's like the best type of deal you can get. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go with that the partnership. Yeah, yeah the partnership. Yeah, cause then we can go ahead and negotiate what what you got, what I got. Cause I think Birdman probably got like the best type of deal when it came to Universal. Like, yeah, for I real. think he owned majority of his masters and shit like that. So whatever they sell from Cash Money, that nigga getting that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta know what you signed. It. All right, let me ask you this: Who would you who would you sign with, Birdman or Diddy? Ooh. If you had a choice between those two. Oh, <laughs> why did he ask me that question? Oh like, my god! Like, hey Nadia, we got you know what I'm saying two dudes. About I that. don't. Ooh, can you put somebody else in there? Cause ooh, <laughs> those are two people that usually be they claim to be fucking niggas over. So, I mean, like I said, allegedly, like I don't know, but me, I personally, I probably go with Diddy. Just gotta know that first album, and they gonna promote that shit hard. After that, that nigga ooh. probably stop fucking with you. Um. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> See, don't. Mm. <laughs> let me watch what I say. So let me think about this one. Um, yeah, cause everybody, hey, I saw you on Shower Day by podcast. Right. And you said fuck me, girl. <laughs> no, like, no, 
no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, salute to both of them because, like, whatever they did, rather it was bad or good, look where they yeah. at. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm trying to get where y'all at. Hell yeah. But I ain't going to lie. The stuff we be hearing about y'all, it's not really good. So you like, shit, I pass on both of y'all. <laughs> I, 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 listen, if you, like, if you heard most of my songs and even in my freestyles, I always shout out Hove. Yeah. I want to go with him. If oh, I yeah. ever get noticed by somebody, okay. Hove. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's somebody you looked up to as far as a rapper or just Yeah, like, you, you know how people always got. Got Biggie, Tupac, Nas, and Jay Z. Yeah. Like that was me. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like it'll be Tupac, then I'll say Ho will be second. Biggie, then Nas. That's just my list, or mm-hmm. whatever, or okay. whatever. Else, Our shit so. similar. Our shit similar. Uh, what well, shit with your music? We gonna, let's get deep dive into you. If, uh, give me your first time in the studio. Was it a bad experience? Good experience? Like or it was an awkward experience. Yeah. Okay. Was you by yourself? <laughs> yes. Okay. Cause it was kind of like I, I'm not even gonna lie. Like back then, I was like, um, the most prepared, unprepared person you ever <laughs> meet in my life. Like yeah. I was prepared as far as like going to the studio or whatever. But yeah. as far as like getting my stuff together, yeah. no. So we said getting like, stuff together like, as far as what like like most like what I noticed um now is like most people. Well, I ain't gonna say most because some just go in there and freestyle, but. Yeah. Some people come to the studio sessions already knowing like what they want to do yeah, to yeah, a yeah. song or whatever the case may be. At the time, because <clears throat> you got to think about it, <clears throat> I didn't have, like most people had somebody giving them game about stuff. Okay, okay. Like, go be professional. Yeah. I had to learn everything I'm learning now. And I'm learning as I keep yeah, on yeah. coming. And of yeah. course, people in between, you feel yeah. me, but most of the stuff I done did myself I done came out of pocket with my own stuff everything mm. Mm. so can't nobody and I mean nobody <laughs> can nobody. say they done <laughs> did anything for me for yeah. real yeah okay 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 how you like your studio setting to be you like a lot of motherfuckers you and a producer I mean you, you an engineer or like- I don't mind people in my sessions as long as like you ain't being rude in my session because mm-hmm. yeah we homies or whatever but this is my job like okay. you know what I'm saying and then I would rather have like a constructive criticism I don't yeah. like yes people around oh, yeah, like, me oh that shit straight like nigga please and it's like <laughs> if, you, if you like a real artist like a mm-hmm. real artist that study the craft of whatever you trying to do mm-hmm. and if you really love it you gonna be your biggest critic yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. so I, I'm not afraid of the but truth but sometimes you you could be your biggest critic and could kind of fuck you up because sometimes you always think you could do something better and never even release some shit Cause i know that's with me like i'll be like dog this shit don't sound straight or like shit like this don't this could be better like and then you find yourself never putting shit out like do you ever get to the point that you like so hard on yourself that you're not even putting out shit um i'm so hard on myself as far as like trying to produce perfect everything anyway yeah, yeah. so yeah i so, guess you would say yeah so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but like I, again i done got became i became more lax now mm-hmm. when i do songs so yeah yeah so yo uh, how would you compare yourself in, in um in a good way or a bad way as far as like your first time in the studio to not like what did you uh improve on and what you know what i'm saying is the same okay well of course the same as far as like getting there and yeah. like telling them what you want etc so that part ain't never changed yeah, yeah, yeah. but now when i go to the studio it's more like when i do the song i know what i want like yeah. i'm i'm learning it's like what a drum is what is an 808 and all that other yeah, stuff yeah, because yeah. hopefully one day i want to be able to produce my own stuff or yeah, whatever yeah, sure. you know what i'm saying like i'm more so like my brand period is more so like universal it ain't like one dimension like yeah. a girl like don't get me wrong like i'm all for female empowerment but mm-hmm. then i also want to see men especially black men to become better than what they are you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. like you know what i'm saying if you if you feel like i honestly i don't think people who do crime i'm about to get a little deep for a second <laughs> but <laughs> i think people Go who ahead. do crime like they was a drug dealer or something like that Honestly, I don't really look at them as bad people, mm. for real, for real. Because everybody didn't come in this world bad. You mm. know what I'm saying? Everybody came in really not knowing nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's really like your environment and who you surround yourself with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, like I said, when you in the fucked up situation, you got to just know like what's right, what's wrong. I mean, you got to study your motherfucking the hood. Like, I came from the hoodies of the hood. I ain't hung around niggas who do shit, seen niggas who do shit, but you got to know like, all right, nigga, shit, I ain't fucking with that shit. I'm here, but that don't mean I got to be a hood. Yeah, nigga, you know like, what I'm saying? But you know, there's some people, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that that's all they know. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying like, like, like it, I just feel like we in a generation of people is not 
taking leadership no more. It's almost yeah. it's basically like a trend. Oh yeah, hell yeah, that's what every motherfucking thing. Does but that's the there. whole that's <laughs> whole my whole brand. Like a whole lot of people, I be seeing interviews saying like they are rebel. They throwing up. what people don't know when I throw up this. This is not a blood sign. Yeah. Like if you look up the story behind the Black Panthers and yeah. you see like pictures of them doing this, yeah. that really stands for power. Yeah. So that's why I can be able to go places. I'm not me personally. I would say I'm the we- most well known artist. Even yeah. the big name people know me. Yeah. Like people, well, shit, people yeah. in the city. Let me put yeah. it like that because I don't want to sound yeah, yeah, all yeah, extra yeah. cocky. Let me clean that up. Yeah. But people who are, are like the man or the woman in the city, they yeah. may not know me, but they know about me because yeah. of how I carry myself. I yeah. don't come in the room intimidated by nobody. Oh, yeah, and that's not it. even trying to be like, I'm the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more so like, I know I'm the shit. My mom <laughs> is still that in us. Well, really, me, because I'm a girl, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I'm a girl, of course. She yeah. is still that in me when I was a oh, yeah, young got, girl. Oh, yeah, got you. Yeah, like, got you, she it. always told me about, like, how she was coming up. My grandma at the time, you know, used to pop her in her face and all that. Yeah. Because, yo, he, she walking with your hair down. Yeah. And she looked at that. That's like, you was a somebody. Like, yeah. what is you doing? Hell, yeah. That's even when you talking motherfucking, you look at motherfucking eye. Like, when you looking down and shit, like, that used to be my fucking problem. But then, I, I forgot. I think my cousin told me that shit. Like, dog, if you look at nobody in the eye, like, or you, your head They down, can't like, respect you. Yeah, it's, it's a motherfucking, like... I don't know what to say the correct word, but it's like basically you giving them power or something damn near like you could you look it down. Basically you you felt you beneath them. You can't even look the motherfuckers in your eye. Or you got fear to look somebody in their eye. Exactly. Like, that's why I, I remember going to interviews like I'll be that bitch staring hard as fuck at somebody. Like, <laughs> like, like, don't look down, nigga, don't look down. Even though you, you wanna look down, but nigga, look at that nigga in his eye, cuz. <laughs> right. We said just... Black Panther, my dad used to fuck with the Black Panthers back in the day. Like my dad was like super like black, black. Like that one, what that shit off? Uh, like, I'm black, y'all. That motherfucker. Oh uh, yeah, CB3. you talking about CB4? Yeah, CB4, CB4. I said CB3. I'm black. <laughs> yeah, but, like that nigga was super black. Like everything was black. But this motherfucker listen to the whitest shit though. But that's what I'm saying. And then like people hear leadership and things straight political. Like no, yeah. and that's why I think I I I love Tupac the way I do, yeah. and I can relate to him as far yeah, as yeah. in that. Like people didn't understand like his whole movement with Thug Life. Yeah. People hear that, that was, and like, automatically crazy think motherfuckers something crazy. Yeah. And then like when I seen like he broke it down to like the codes and it, that's what I'm saying like yeah. my I, what I realize about people in corporate America and people who like come from a lore we yeah. are just literally the same except we just move different hell for real yeah, for sure for sure hell yeah and even down to religion I don't believe in religion for real I'm more spiritual yeah. See, so if you ever follow me on the gram you gonna see a lot of stuff that I repost as far yeah. as spiritual I just became that now I ain't perfect yeah. I will still get with you if I have to go there <laughs> but yeah. but you know what I'm saying like now I became more like yeah. I, I'm looking at things from a different perspective hell yeah give y'all motherfucking game real quick cuz <laughs> yeah but that's for sure like with me I don't even like talking about like religion or like politics and shit like that I mean I just never been to like the church I don't know the bible I never read the bible I can't tell you no, nothing from the bible I just know what I heard from from people but you know the key things right uh, I guess <laughs> oh my god okay. like, I'll, I'll give him a scripture or two like, I, I believe in God I believe in God like but like as far as like I always question like shit in the, in the bible like how do you know like, it's always a, 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 a how do you know in everything like I mean, the Bible is something that was written by somebody. But was they right there with God? Or did be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just never understood the Bible as far as that aspect. Like, I mean, of course, you got to do your research and stuff like that. But you really don't know until you motherfucking leave this earth. What and the I, fuck and is going you know on? what? I can't even fought that for real. Because I, I believe there is a God. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know it's what I'm saying? Yeah, it got to be something. But see, like, I look at religion as more like a cult. Like, with people like who's like Baptist, bap, what they call them? What Baptist baptism? Ba- no, nah, what they call them? <laughs> Should we high? <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all know where I'm going with this. Christians, yeah. all them, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like <laughs> it's just like when you listen to like they beliefs and like what yeah. they talk about or whatever. Uh-huh. It's like okay, it. I may be wrong, so yeah. don't judge. No, me. go ahead. Listen. But like prime example, if you have sex. And you ain't married, yeah. you're going straight to hell. Like, yeah, how you yeah. know where I'm but, going? But like, every day, we, we send it every day, no matter what we do. Ain't nobody a perfect person, though. Like, at the end of the day, if you worry about that, we all going to hell. For sure, for real, for real. Because uh, anybody that's been married, I'm, I mean, I'm about to, but shit, we all ain't got it in. <laughs> so we all, all four of us is bitch going to hell. That's what I'm saying. I guess I'm already there then, I guess. Yeah. But my thing is with the whole shit, like, I just don't, like, you can believe, but you, like I said, you won't know until you die. And then even still, you, you still may not know. Like, that's the scariest shit as far as, like, just, like, 
it's on some drinking shit. Like, as far as death, like, you, cause you don't know what the fuck. Like, you know you leaving this bitch. That's the only thing that's guaranteed in your whole life is that you gotta leave this bitch. I think mine is more so how I'm gonna go. Yeah. Like, if somebody yeah, gonna yeah. kill me, if somebody gonna yeah. cut me open on some, <laughs> some, uh, uh, what's that, my man's name? Jeffrey Dahmer stuff or whatever. No. I'm like, I, I like, be it, thinking it, about wild stuff like that. Like, how I'm gonna man. go. And then you watch the movies, like, yeah, I'm trying to like with this whole Corona shit. Like that motherfuckers, I you start thinking about like, damn, what motherfuckers turning zombies? Like, what the, what's that shit called? Man, that they show. be showing movies where it's like it looks super unrealistic to where if if yeah. something from that movie doesn't yeah. happen, it's like, damn, the movie low key predicted. Yeah, it, so. yeah, but that's how the Simpsons, but the Simpsons predicted everything that's going on in this motherfucker. I don't know Trump, about everything. Trump, I don't know about the, uh, everything. Cause, like, it, Cause every time something major happened, they refer back to the, the Simpsons. Simpsons. <laughs> it's like okay. I I know the Simpsons probably to predict the most common ones people talking about, but come on now, y'all y'all kind of reaching a little bit with that one. It may be, but the whole, yeah, cause some of the things they got spot on though, for sure, for sure. Yes, yeah, some, yeah. but not every single thing. All right, uh, real quick, I do this thing. I, I do it at the end. We gonna still do it at the end, but I want to do it with your album. Okay. Uh, I know that your, uh, you 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 released something as far as album wise in 2018, right? Yeah. It's called uh, Birth of an Icon. Yeah. What, what what how you get that name? Like it caught me, of course. Like you know, what I'm saying you feel that way, but. What made you go with that? Like, that's some balls. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, the title, cause again, it, it reflected back to like how my people, it's like my mama was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being strong and look at yourself as like a superior almost. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Like, like, I feel like I'm the shit cause I see a lot of these girls and even people in the industry don't think people in the industry is not like looking at yeah. people who what they claim is a nobody yeah. at what they doing yeah, and they they, they take it some people yeah, cause it's like the other day just um what's the man named Trippy Red took the whole my man what, who my man be doing all the songs in Detroit uh GMC Cash or something John? who it was Trippy like, Red yeah he took his whole little uh delivery as far as like he did a song talking about the coronavirus and he did the same shit Took my man a whole style. Wait, I thought Trippy Red did rock and roll now. Nah. I don't know, but I know he did. Oh, you sure? You sure it wasn't Lil Peep? Oh, no, it was it was Trippy Red. I just seen that junk this morning. It was on uh, I guess what old girl Randy from uh also radio had posted it. And um, yeah, he was like just talking. He was rapping the same way my man from Detroit. I mean, people still Detroit show all the time, but like even Soldier Boy has stole uh kid shit. One I remember one time. Like, I mean, like people gotta realize something. Like we are in the business where people is gonna feel inspired about yeah. whatever. And then we just Somebody yeah, that ain't know you feel like you can go ahead and take him and nobody won't know won't know. You know what I'm saying? No, I understand people's frustration. Like yeah. if you gonna do it, at least pay homage. Some oh, people yeah. just take it and just be like, Okay, I made yeah, something of yeah, it. Yeah. Like why why you mad? <laughs> so I understand the frustration, but you y'all gotta like really just think about it. When people started out in what they was doing, they didn't they didn't probably per se take their mm. sauce, they probably like took a piece of it and try to add their own to it or whatever. Yeah. But ain't nobody really started nothing for real. No, the no. people that started it, they 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 dead and gone. <laughs> now. So like, for let's sure, just be sure. real. What you just took it and really went somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it. everybody has stole a little something from everybody. Like you never just you ain't gonna come in this bitch like super original. Like damn, I ain't never heard that shit before. Like you can always like relate to something. Like nigga, he got that from this or even as an artist, like you always steal a piece of somebody's shit. Like because you just look up to that person in the Way. Yeah, you feel me? If you listen to somebody so much, you start, you know, saying coming out that type of way. Exactly. So like, I, if there's nothing wrong with feeling inspired. Yeah. So I, just, before I have a guest on, I always listen to they, they shit. So I do a top three at the end, but I'm doing a top three on your album as far as the songs. So my top three on your album, your album, <laughs> is a uh, Wow, The Truth, and Locked Away. So what's your top three on the, on your album? Um. Okay, um, damn. Because yeah. they all was a different time when I made those. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock the Way definitely going to be on the top three. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, it, we're going to talk about that. Cause I had some questions about that anyway. Um, <laughs> silly. Um, Baller is, will be number two. Yeah. And, and when I get to the last one, let me just tell you a quick story behind that. Okay. The song Baller I made about somebody that I was dealing with at the time. Okay. And and <laughs> get the liquor real quick. <laughs> hey, <I'm> low key. <laughs> no, the song behind all I was dealing with somebody at the time. Okay. And made long story short, like we went to the liquor store and he mm. was getting some Hennessy or whatever, yeah. and he was getting I think it was the 
Ain't the pint the most, like the biggest one? Or no, you got the. Uh, I mean, not shoot, the pint, the, uh, but uh, fifth, the half, fifth, half gallon, gallon. I think it was the half. Yeah. I think, well, whatever it was, it was big. I remember that. <laughs> and it it cost, like, it really wasn't costing much. And he basically, like, helped me. To, like, I mean, not helped me. He asked me to help him out on it. And I just okay. looked at him, like, what, really? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's, like, I, like, everybody laughed on that part when I was like, Always trying to get me to go half on the Henny. That was okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to my man Jason. <laughs> Jason, you motherfucker, cuz. <laughs> so I got locked away, baller. And yeah. I'll put, um, I will put, I'll put Wild on there too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that, Joe. Like the whole little what's name. The whole, uh, the vi- I like the video, everything like that. It was dope. It was dope. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as like the lot the way, uh, uh, dear daddy, or whatever. Like, what's your relationship with your pops? Like, I know, like that was like a layer to him and John. Like, you know, what I'm saying it's okay to talk about that. I don't want no, yeah, no tear yeah. jerker or nothing. Nah, more. Like, nah. Then you nah. feel a couple like then. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? No, I can talk about that. Um, okay. that song I made that like I want to say not last year, but like mid the year before so okay. it was an 18 or whatever okay and basically it, it was it was a lot going on like i'll say half of 18 and maybe half of 19 it mm-hmm. was just a lot was going on around that time like yeah. i caught a assault charge all types of stuff uh, we get back on that yeah <laughs> <laughs> but no um no like um it was it, like he and then on top of that i found out he went in the hospital so it was a lot with that it, it was yeah. just a lot so he was going through some stuff can't mm-hmm. really speak on it okay and then it basically caused a division okay let's just put it like that okay and then of course i found some stuff about me having little sisters or whatever yeah, yeah, and yeah. it wasn't about for real about them it was more so like how i found out like i let yeah. yeah so it was a lot so i wrote that song and see and i and i'm, I'm just a i guess you could say it they call it, again two five <laughs> A emo artist, an emotional artist. Yeah. Like I write how I feel. I just can't be a girl that write about the same thing yeah, all yeah. the time. Like yeah. I don't know that. I don't know if that's a that that just drives me crazy. <laughs> but um, you know, and I was just, it started off as a poem. I wasn't really trying to rap for real on mm. that song. It was mm. more so like a poem that I wrote about him, and I came across it one day at the studio. And then I was just like, oh, I got to use it to something. And my producer at the time, he had this beat that yeah. he was cooking up, which was that that you heard. Okay. And that's how it came together. Okay, okay. Now, was, uh, growing up, was you and your dad, was y'all tight? Yeah. Okay, okay. That, like, literally, because my mama, she was always at work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. my dad, he practically was just, like, there most of my childhood. Yeah. Cause I was going to say, because, like, sometimes girls who don't have, like, that tight relationship with their dad always look for a dude for that to, you know what I'm saying, cover that that, 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 that missing piece or whatever. Yeah, because, like, that, subconsciously, girls find a guy that was something what, like they dad, somewhat yeah. like they dad. Yeah, because you, you like, even the same thing with dudes. Like, we all look, you know, we always, you know what I'm saying, look for a chick that's kind of like how their mom is. Like, gotta be a little cook. Cause that mama keep that bathroom clean, girl. <laughs> Don't have bathroom dirty. <laughs> like that's the thing about me. Like you gotta be clean for real, for real. Yeah, so, for real. So with that, with that, uh, with that album, like did 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 um did it do what you wanted it to do, or like I did did, did people did it make some little noise, or whatever. No, it made noise. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, know you cock it with it. <laughs> no, it, no, it made noise. No, it yeah. did. I'll put like this. Like I, I at first I didn't get like the whole like game as far as like with the industry but now since mm-hmm. i understand and i'm starting to see like i'm getting the re- the recognition that i deserve it, yeah. it does what it's supposed to so That's god gonna forever be with me oh yeah now as far as like supporters we from detroit you know what i'm saying the, the city of hate you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so like is it <laughs> is it hard to get people like to support you and do you feel frustrated sometimes like dog like my shit straight like why you ain't fucking fucking with it like it like from strangers no yeah. i don't okay. they because you it depends like yo like i said your demographic or whatever and most of my fans are caucasians okay. most of them i got a few black friends i mean a few Fan. black yeah, fans yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so but majority i get mostly love from my caucasian friends. i mean but you want that though because they, they be the ones really buying your shit though silly. you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess they ain't bootlegging no more, but they just gonna go oh ahead and Oh my god, no, shit. there's some, there's some, my, no, I love my, uh, my little black, especially my little, uh, LGBT community. Oh, they, they go, they go hard. For oh, real. Yeah. yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I just had a girl on here. Her, her name's Sosa. I don't know if you heard of her. 
So so, so, so so Detroit. Okay. Yeah. She got a little uh, thing called uh, Detour ENT. She interviewed people too and stuff. Whatever. Okay. So we had a whole conversation. Go back on it. Check that out. Episode 14. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with your new track, Do or Die. Is this a single for a new album or just something you putting out? No, that just some. I, I recorded that last year, by the way. Okay. So I had put a snippet up on my story. People was voting for it for me yeah. to drop it. So I just dropped it. So with that, like, I got the whole ride die concept. Like, are you a ride die chicken in a relationship? Basically, yeah. Mm, mm, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> ride die is that is that a good or bad thing? Because sometimes it can be a bad thing. Sometimes relationships you can fuck around relationships so hard that you forget what the fuck. Your purpose is. I say that to say, sometimes, like, even me, like, you could be a relationship with somebody and try to please somebody, you forget your whole purpose and, you know what I'm saying, like, your grind or what you got passion for because you're trying to please somebody. Do you ever feel like being a ride doc could be a little too much that you forget what the fuck you here for? Yeah, it can. Because sometimes the love be, like, toxic a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you the type of person that love and love hard. Like, yeah. for real. It, it can distract you. Especially mm -hmm. if, like, that person don't understand what you got going on. Mm -hmm. They want you to stop what you doing yeah. and focus on them. So, yeah, it, be yeah. it, it becomes toxic. Like, I heard one song this uh, chick had put down, you know what I'm saying, uh, Crimson Alchemist. She was supposed to be on the show. What, what, what happened? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> she was, like, basically saying in there, in there or whatever. She got a girlfriend whatever. So, you know, she was saying, like, I, I ain't even trying to quote her, but she was saying, like, I guess she could spend more time in the studio. And I say that because, like, a lot of times we in relationships and we don't realize that we done with the relationship, like, the amount of work we could have did. I think you could do both. I'm in a relationship, but I still find a way to do my podcast. I do my coaching. Like, you still got to do your own shit because if you don't, you going to motherfucking be mad at this person. But you person. got a partner, too, though. Yeah, yeah, for Like, sure. if your soulmate ain't your partner, yeah. like, I'm talking about partner through everything, yeah. then you ain't got the one. Yeah, because I know she be mad when I come, but she ain't going to say it. Like, oh, you doing another podcast? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, saying. That's the only thing you, be, you better say, okay, motherfucker. Get in. It's like, no, uh, uh, <laughs> no, 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 I would never no. touch you with I said that. I would swing on him. No, the reason why I say that, that because you said you had the, uh, uh, a little issue or whatever. So that's why the whole transition, I'm a good dude. I'm a good host. So I, <laughs> what was your whole your situation? I ain't going to, you know saying, get off of that. You well, said, I ain't going to mention the parties in there, but basically, <laughs> or whatever, like a chick came out crazy to moms. And, okay. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I gave her the warning. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? She didn't want to listen. Yeah. Provoked me. Then that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Point blank. Period. For real. Like and see the thing is, let me just make something clear. Like because people always misconstrue female artists. Like we got to be tough all the time or whatever. Yeah. Like we got emotions too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Everybody ain't tough all the time. They do. They just angry. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, just angry. For no reason. Like, for like, real. You like, woke up mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just like... But I'm a type of person that don't play. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if you want to really have me take it there, mess with anybody in my family. I could yeah. be at odds with them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can say they ain't shit, but who yeah. are you to say that they ain't shit? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like I, can, I can sit here and, and say my brother got pink pants on, but nigga shit. Oh, my God. You can't. Hey, this nigga high as hell. Classic my head. Nigga blow over in the corner. <laughs> but no, like, you can't. No, nigga, hell no. I just did a little uh, little intro beat like, dog. Like, I, I would kill you for my two kids. Like, if if you fuck with them, like my girl, like anybody, like close to me, like oh, I, I hurt you, with, you know, I won't be mad about it at the end of the day. Yeah, for and real. you seem like the type of person, like it's like you throw hands at a dude real quick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like see, the, I answer that quick. Yeah, yeah. the vibe mm -hmm. I get for you, I feel like all right. Me ask you is like, come on. A lot of times, a, a girl put a dude in a situation that he don't want to be in. Would you be that type of person in a relationship? Like I had a girl. Throw shit at me like dog. Calm down. Like I, oh my God. I, I don't want to. I, I never hit a woman. I slammed a girl before. Oh no! Because she threw a, a remote ooh, control in my head ooh, and I ooh, ducked ooh, it. Ooh, then she punched me. I did quit Mayweather again. Oh, I hate guys like you. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm never gonna hit you. My mom taught me way better than I'm never gonna hit you. But I'm gonna restrain. You know what I'm saying? I slam you. Bam. Hold you. Hey, calm down. I'm stronger than you. Calm down. Oh my God. <laughs> just calm down. Just calm down. I don't want to do nothing. Calm down. Well, I can. Well, me. And I will leave. The only time I will, like, I can see myself swinging on somebody <laughs> is if you said something, like, really, really yeah. foul. You, you know, know what I, I'm saying? You know why I kind of figure you was a, you, 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 you a swing at a dude? It's the way you do your eyes real quick, like, when you talking. I'm like, oh, she swing on you real quick. Like, <laughs> it's like, I don't know why. <laughs> It's so with her eyes, like, oh, she'll swing on a nigga real quick. If I, I had get the wrong question. Real yeah. quick, like. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> man, but no, I never punch a girl. But I just, I wouldn't want no girl put me in no situation. Like, I don't think, like, if I had a daughter, I'd raise her. Like, just be, just, be, you know, what I'm saying. Now, if you got to defend yourself, defend yourself, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna come. Oh, and I, and you know, yeah. it's, I'm glad you said that because I advise all girls to take up martial arts, boxing, yeah. and even do a couple street fighting. Even you got to use your <laughs> friends. I mean, yeah. for real, because like that helps a whole lot. That's, for real. It's funny as you say it because my son, he 13. I mean, he he's strong. He can fight, but he never got to a fight. He never got to a fight. I think I never got to a fight. I got to one fight my whole life. So I'm scared of fighting a nigga right now. That nigga might knock my ass out. Oh like, my god! That's how I got to a fight. I was in seventh grade. Shit. Oh my god! Oh my girl never get into it with nobody. Like, hey, motherfucker, get my ass knocked out. Oh like, my god! That's why I'm about to have my uh, chew. You about to train my son because like throw some hands real quick. But yeah, like yeah, you gotta have those little. It's kind of good to have those young fights at an early age, like cause so you know if you got hands or not. Cause it kind of fucked up to be 25, 26 And you ain't never gone to a and fight. And then you go it's ahead one time. Yeah, yeah. And a motherfucker come past your girl like, damn, you got a fat ass. And then you trying to motherfucker boss up and get knocked <laughs> out like. <laughs> I got my, my fights uh, really started when I was young, so I definitely yeah. understand. I'm glad yeah. I got that air out the out my system. Yeah. So what what you was gonna do here trying to defend your honor and got knocked out? Would you break up with? I don't him? know. If I, I don't know. I don't know how I would take that. That would really be messed up. Like, oh, like now, if I should go on with the other dude right now because damn, if, how if you get knocked out? If it's a gang of niggas, though, you can't be mad. If it's well, a no, if it was a gang, like he got jumped, then. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not the chick that just sit there. Like, no, you, see, bruh. I'm going to tell you, like, I told you, if, if I'm getting jumped, like, nigga, just go. Just go. I want to see you get See, back. but I'm the type of person yeah. that jumped in because I remember <laughs> a long time ago, my brother, he yeah. was dating a chick. Yeah. And she pulled a knife on her and her three-year-old was in the car. Yeah. And I was at the door with a bat just waiting for her to do something. Man. I'm just that type of girl. Like, yeah. my people's always saying, like, no matter what, like, yeah. if that's your people's, you ride for them, for right, real. For sure. I you know, know what I'm saying? You getting knocked out, too, and shit, like... Hey, bad Betty. Pow, pow. But see, the thing get. is, though, like, what the, like I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure anything is possible, <laughs> no, but no, I can't no. see myself getting knocked off for real. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. the type of person, like, I ain't going out without a fight. Damn. So I you got to put me I down, ain't. down hey, for real. If, if, if y'all fuck with me, I'm getting out of here. So, shit, speaking of, like, relationship, are you single? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> 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 All right, do you, yourself, do you see yourself, like, getting, getting in a relationship anytime soon, or do you look to get in a relationship? At, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I did, but yeah. I can wait. Okay, okay. Do you ever see yourself having kids in the future? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta have that legacy, man. Like I feel like I don't know. I, and I always and I told my mama this. Like I feel like whatever I do in life, rather it's this or whatever, I yeah. know I'm gonna make a lot of money. I already yeah. know whatever I'm gonna do because I just got that CEO mindset. So it's like I already know yeah. for a fact that I'm gonna be successful. Yeah. But have a family of my own, I'm probably gonna be like Oprah. <laughs> no, For real, like have a lot of money, but I mean, she got stedman or whatever. But in my case, <laughs> I, I probably dated a lot, tried, probably traveled the world. I'm probably yeah. gonna be that aunt to my to my uh, nephew yeah, yeah, yeah. that come in they got a lot of money yeah. give them the nicest giving I'm gonna go like that's aunt mama like for real <laughs> yeah. so what make, what make you like uh, girls who be growing up they always be thinking about weddings and family and husband and this that and third you wasn't thinking about that like play with the dog. I was, like. I was, but it wasn't like how other girls is. As you can see, a lot of them got families now yeah. or whatever. So me, I was more so like, like I was more into like going to like islands or whatever. So man, it's, it's funny you say this shit because my girl, her, uh, her cousin is that same. She that same type of person. Like she'd rather travel like a motherfucker than to have kids and shit. Like I mean, yeah, you want to. Or whatever, but I mean, I guess as a dude, you want somebody to continue your legacy or whatever. I got two sons, like, little shy, what up, nigga? You better continue my shit right. <laughs> and shit like that. So I know, like, you know what I'm saying? Then I got another son. So now I'm looking for one more. So I have, hopefully I have a girl. Oh, my God. So guess what? Oh, you want a girl? I, yeah, I want hey. a girl. But now, I, I got two boys. So if something, God forbid, something happened to me, she got two brothers to protect her. And she yeah. got an uncle. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's wild and shit. So, I ain't got nothing to worry about. You feel me? So, I'm good. But if my 13-year-old was a girl right now, oh, man. God, damn. She don't have a lot on her. I be messed up because I'm like, I got to worry about dudes trying to smash. Uh, well, not. <laughs> yeah, 13. I'm a coach. I don't want to put no thoughts in his head. <laughs> oh, no. I know he thinking about that shit, but I tell him all the time, like, dog, like, real talk, like, as a 13 year old, you don't want to think about sex right now. Like, because guess what? Once you get in it, you don't want to get out but of see, it. But see, again, we came in in a different time, too. Man. See, when we 
was coming up. Cause I'm pretty sure like you did the same thing that I did growing mm-hmm. up, like going outside yeah, till like yeah, yeah. the street lights came on, oh, whatever. No, we was not thinking about that for <laughs> yeah. real. We were just out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like me, I always like you. You thought about sex, but like shit, that was like a fantasy in your head. Like damn, one day I'll have sex. Like <laughs> you know what's gonna be tomorrow, but you yeah. know one day. But it wasn't like, like so quick. It's yeah. like the generation now they just grasp it because they just like they see it. Yeah, speaking of quick. <laughs> Oh my god! At sex, like we always, oh, wow. we always talk about, like you know, saying you say I can ask you anything, you know. Yeah, saying? you're so, right, you're right. Go ahead. Like when you had that that, that first time, I know it's different from girls and boys. Ooh. My first time was so mm. quick. The, my first time was so quick. The girl thought she, she was still a virgin. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, like, hey, I'm a real nigga, like, I mean, I'm straight now, nah, I'm cool now, nah. but that first time you so, I think I was so happy, like, oh, this shit about to happen, and, and then it was just, I'm gonna have to do a boy Icewood dance before, I'm happy, like, yeah, so that motherfucker touched the lips, that motherfucker, like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, what that, oh, so the boy, y'all trick, y'all, my shit was y'all trick gone, my shit was gone, so, <laughs> your first time, that's why I be the best podcast guy. I keep it real with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas be lying. Like, nigga, my nigga Weez, I'm throwing you on the bus, cuz. This nigga be talking about 45, 50 minutes. Like, nigga, you not doing that. The girl not don't even want you to be in her motherfucking pussy for 45 minutes, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My first time was quick, motherfucker. Like I said, I probably got a stroke and a half. And I'm like, and I use an excuse. Like, you know what? We ain't ready. Because <laughs> I already busting up. <laughs> We ain't fucking ready. Really, I wasn't ready for that motherfucker. So tell me your first time, bro. Right? You can laugh. You a girl. Well, we got to pause. <laughs> no, laugh like a motherfucker. Because I was that bitch like, maybe it's such thing ain't for me. <laughs> but oh my, my, my older brother, shout out to my older brother. I ain't going to put his name out there. He told me, like, nigga, you was just too motherfucking happy. All right, nigga, you finally got it, nigga. You was too anxious, and nigga, it was the rap, nigga. As soon as you pull your shit out, nigga, like, and you saw it, nigga, it was a rap, basically. So after you, you know, saying you warm up, you, you get better type of hooping. You gotta shoot some jump shots before you go in the game. And he I, just got very, very detailed. Yeah. Like, so I'm what just, the I, heck? I ain't shooting up jump shots. I was that bitch trying to aim high, like. I was that bitch shoot from hand like I was Steph. Like, nigga, you ain't Steph, nigga, you shat, nigga, make some layups. <laughs> so that's what fucked me up. So tell me your first time, like, was it bad? Like, or did you think like me, like, damn, this nigga really just sweating like a motherfucker for oh my two seconds, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time shit. I was like, what, 16? <laughs> shit, what up, though, Eric? Um, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> um, my first time. I was scared. Shit, I was too. Like, (laughs) (laughs) for sure, shit. I was scared my first time, and I think it was more so because he was older than me at the time. Okay, okay, makes sense. So, and you know, of course, y'all got more experience. So, I did. I'm just well. (laughs) (laughs) You know, next question. (laughs) Go ahead, (laughs) Joe. No, like, um. Yeah, he was just very experienced, so it, okay. it, it was it was a lot to take in. I ain't gonna hold you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's, that's crazy. <laughs> but the whole thing, like, if you had dark, like, like, how would you have that conversation as far as like the sex conversation go? With my son, I just be like, dog, just you know, what I'm saying, like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen and shit like that. Like, well, you know, but oh just God. like, just know, once it happens, it bring a lot of problems. No, like, like I'm a I'm a I'm a be the type of parent that keep it real with my kids. Man, you got like. To. I ain't gonna say it's his birth because it's like by the end it's just like yeah. you know what I'm saying until like they can comprehend what I'm yeah. talking about yeah. we gonna have them talks like I'm gonna keep, be honest with my yeah. kids I'm gonna be honest about my life so yeah. even if they was to talk to me crazy and say well you did it or whatever yeah. I'm like listen you see so what happened to me don't yeah. do that you yeah. know what I'm saying so yeah cause man that shit like I told my son like a dog trust me girls gonna be on this bitch forever nigga like from the day you put them off of the penis in the vagina motherfucker you have a problem for the rest of your life nigga <laughs> make sure you strap up for oh, real yeah. that's for real and strap for real. up with three condoms I'm just saying oh, shit. cause people out here just file playing it. Yeah. speaking mm-hmm. of condoms um like I said back oh, to my first time oh, dog, dog, oh, I'm saying my, my first time my uh my homie and shit dog he used to stay he was like family and shit he used to stay next door to his uh we stayed next door to his girlfriend so this nigga had the nerve to put condoms in my drawer before he go home and shit. I'm not knowing what the condom is. I'm like, dog, go ahead, put it in the drawer. It's in my my, my little sock and drawers drawer. So uh, I'm going there, preparing for my first time. You know, saying, get myself the prep, talking in the mirror and shit. Like, dog, you got this. 
You good. Wait, do guys really do that? I did. Yeah. That time, shit. That's my first oh time. I'm like, you got this, dog. Don't go in there with confidence, dog. So, um, I'm not knowing at the time that I'm in there talking to myself. She checking out my drawer. For some reason, I don't know why she was in my drawer. So, she's seeing the condoms and stuff. So, I come in the room. She was like, I don't know if I'm ready for you. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, motherfucker, I don't know if I'm ready for you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to myself. So, she put out this motherfucker, Madam XL. I look at her like, come on now. Put that bitch back. Like, <laughs> I don't even know if I can motherfucker fit that thing. Like, I never put a condo in my life. Put that bitch back. Let me get this lifestyle real quick. <laughs> so she fucked me all up with that motherfucking condo. Like, hold on, hold on. Put that shit back. I told my my, my dog, like, dog, why you leave that condo over here, nigga? I'm 15, 16. I don't know what the fuck to do with that motherfucking condo. That motherfucker might feel like a, t- a loose ass turtle, nigga. <laughs> you know that bitch, the condo that fell on her motherfucking pussy. Like, you don't even know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I was talking about Kyle. You said three times, like, man, let me get that motherfucker lifestyle, life, life, lifestyle, please. <laughs> but that, right, yeah, we talking about the whole first time thing and stuff like that. Like, let's talk about like you say you single and stuff like that. Being in a relationship with uh, with dudes, or whatever. Like, you know, you and your music, you and your craft. You trying to, you know, what I'm saying, get out here, whatever. Like. Can a nigga hinder that shit? Like we, I say it to say, like you could talk to like some soft niggas, you could talk to some sensitive niggas. I mean, every nigga that has a sensitive moment or a soft ass moment. So like, 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 this is you know, what I'm saying, go off of that. Like, as far as like being worried about talking to somebody, like, and you doing your music. I just feel like you date somebody just period, and they in the like life or whatever. You yeah. need to be secure, just period, because. Like, that would be really, like, messed up. You trying to hinder somebody yeah, from yeah, trying yeah. to, like... You know what I'm saying? We you we know that you know. But yeah. it's just, like, come on now. Yeah, like, be cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't be thinking about hell. them. The yeah. <laughs> niggas would be sensitive as hell. Like, and I had some sensitive moments. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I think every dude got some sensitive points at a point, like... Like can you can you fuck with a nigga who just constantly questioning you about what you doing or whatever like or do you feel like you all right you in relationship me and you we talking whatever do you feel like you gotta tell me what the fuck going on like as far as like just to keep me cool or or you don't give a fuck you talking about as far as like like just like um you know I'm doing this I'm doing that like kind of give a nigga an update of what you're doing throughout your day or whatever or, I mean like. To me, I feel like if you want if you want to put it in that perspective, in my opinion, yeah, because I don't never want him to feel like he's out the box, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like as long as he like supporting and be like, I'm gonna most definitely like keep him updated on some yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, like that's just no. Just yeah. don't be in a relationship. If you gotta do that, like <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Like sometimes nigga, yeah, niggas try to control the fuck out of you. Like nigga be like, oh, motherfucker, you say he was over here, nigga, you over here. Like you know what I'm saying? Going crazy <laughs> about the motherfucker saying death threats and shit around your way. Man, call your mom. <laughs> And shit like what the fuck are you crazy bro? I had a real life stalker too oh yeah talk about that <laughs> he, he was just crazy like it was just somebody no I ain't said, had sex with him okay. but it was just somebody <laughs> like I was just you know cause I'm just an open butterfly you know I talk to people yeah. and I guess like that went to his head to another degree and okay. he was just stalking me everything I did now was this somebody you, you met like face to face or somebody on social media like it was a um, it was somebody I met through a friend technically but me I don't know how to explain like we met before but we didn't really meet till like this mutual friend at the time was like cool with him and me so did you cuss that mutual friend out like motherfucker Mm -hmm. (laughs) no the thing was I see everybody who ever be around me they let me be me and Mm -hmm. even down to the ones I ain't even talking to they let me be me they didn't was like oh girl you gotta no you know what I'm saying cause like that yeah. what you know what I'm saying but in relationships everybody got they what I call interview voice uh huh like my producer got the motherfucker whitest interview voice but the hoodest nigga in the world <laughs> and I say everybody in relationships got their interview person right and you don't know a person like you don't know a person for real until you like just live with a motherfucker like yeah that's why you should never marry nobody until you live with a nigga like that's why they say like become friends first yeah. with somebody before you even get serious with anybody oh yeah for sure, for sure. so would you um Okay, like I said, I slid your DMs to meet you, whatever. Cause I, I don't every- say slid in DMs. Okay, well, cause got- people gonna miss okay, the no, no, no. that and yeah. No, but I got I I I, I hit you up on your DM talk about the whole music stuff because what I do is at night I always like look up hashtags and try to find people and be like, oh, they dope. Let me see if I get them on the um on the podcast or whatever. And when I see your shit, I'm like, are oh, you dope? You know, what I'm saying like you could be somebody I could talk to. So. Uh, uh, 
Hey, I just went her DM to talk to her about music, about business. Like, it was crazy. strictly business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do so all chill out. Y'all yeah, yeah, can yeah, save yeah. y'all shit. I just do a split slide <laughs> DM shit just because it's a funny shit. <laughs> but like me, you know what I'm saying, doing that shit, talking to you, whatever, getting you on the show, whatever. Like, do you find people getting your DMs? I know you got niggas trying to holler at you in your shit. <laughs> like, like, and, and, and my second question about that, can you ever get in a relationship with somebody from social media because nowadays niggas niggas be too scared to approach girls like the easiest, yeah and that's weird yeah the easiest way to approach a girl is through social media I get it I could do both you know I could I could talk to you like what up you know what I'm saying blase blee even though I ain't done it in a while but <laughs> you know what I'm saying you could do both of them like I mean everybody like whether they want to admit or not they that became friends yeah. in a relationship had kids with somebody yeah. visa internet if yeah. you just really want to be real you friends with somebody off the motherfucking that's what I'm saying media, so like, it's like it's nothing wrong it with it but my thing is it depends on how you approach the situation if you just slide somebody DM like damn damn I'm trying to fuck girl like, like you know what I'm saying like, and all that, like, yeah. going, like <laughs> now if you just like nigga like damn she's she straight like you could think somebody's straight and then like damn you might not see a person you know what I'm saying in person and you might just want to say what up on social media like what's your what's your best approach as a guy approach you like you think they should I mean I, I tell people just be yourself when you approach me don't try to come at me you know what I'm saying like you just mm. the richest whatever in the yeah, world yeah, like yeah. all that like to me like don't get me wrong in my younger days yeah mm. it was all oh, yeah but it's just like now when you kind of like got your own situation yeah. it's just like and like what else yeah. you got and then with on? social media though I think the lamest shit like you know what I'm saying is trying to uh, talk to a chick knowing you in the situation cause it's easy to see the shit on your page like nigga why would you even put yourself in that situation like I'm scared as fuck to get caught up I'm not even trying to. I want my phone to be out. I want my phone to be like this. What me and your relationship? I want my phone to be like that. Like I gotta be like this. I'm taking a shower. My shit on my hip. I ain't got no clothes on. But that been stuck on my motherfucking ass. Like I don't want that whole problem. Like I just want to be able to have be free. Like a lot of motherfuckers know they be with a bitch and then. But that's why I say coming to a chick. A, I know, right? Get, they, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But they try to get with a chick. And then, like, dog, you know you got a whole relationship, bro. Like, just calm down, nigga. Or if you ain't ready for that shit, nigga, just don't be in a relationship. Exactly. Like, I just got finna tell my, my producer, like, dog, like, nigga, I ain't try shit, nigga. Like, I've been in a relationship, like, dog, ain't no point. Because sometimes you got to put your, your your feet in them shoes, like, and be like, dog, I don't want to get fucked up like this. like. But, I, but again, that's why you got to get to know the people that you be mm -hmm. around. Like, really know yeah. them. Like, I'm talking about you got to be, like... Yeah. Like, like you gotta get to know him, basically. Yeah. So, am I okay? I'm glad you said that shit, cause I know a certain someone who's a female. I'm not gonna name names and stuff, but they get mad about dudes dogging them. But if you if you fucking with the same dude, like dog, you gonna get the same outcome. But when a real a good dude try to approach you, you you like they gonna say fuck him. Yeah. And this is, this is a good dude, but you saying fuck him because he ain't your type. But your type is the type of niggas who fuck over you. Like, what's your type? Like, do you like a street dude? Do you like a a, a, a balance between the two because you can be a I'm not no street dude but I know how to handle myself in the streets you right. feel me like I know how to interact with the hood, is, uh, Every, the hood. I mean uh, again I can only speak for me I, I who don't want the best of both worlds yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, yeah. me I don't want no all out street dude you know what I'm saying because it's like that's gonna get you we already know what that's gonna <laughs> yeah, get you or whatever yeah, yeah. And, but then I don't want nobody that's all the way corporate neither you know yeah. what I'm saying like it just gotta be a bad Oh, I'm keep hitting this thing. <laughs> it gotta, it gotta be a balance. You know what I'm saying? With yeah, really everything. Like I, sure. I like somebody with a sense of humor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta be serious all the time. Like yeah, I, no, I like when I see couples on Instagram, they just be playing little pranks on each other. Whatever. Like yeah. that's the type of stuff yeah. I like. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I do stupid shit. Like you cooking food? I'm putting your pants down. And shit like. Man, like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I do that shit. Like for real. I'm a, I, if you want, if you don't want silly, don't fuck with me. And that's what I'm saying. Like you gotta, <laughs> I, like I want to get into something where it's just like, yeah, you can be you. And I can be yeah. with that, and then of course I'm in the public. I gotta be, well, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the only sucky part about that. So, <laughs> so when you look, for, what type of dude you look for for the uh, people trying to uh, get on naughty or pain? <laughs> Like, who, what's, actually, your type? what's your type? Like, what's your? You got a certain type. You got well, he well, whoever he is, he gotta look good. He ain't gotta be the finest, but he gotta have some type of look. To him. Like, I gotta look at you. Tupac, People say looks ain't everything, like, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying to have no baboons. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's like a big fear of mine. Yeah, like for yeah, real. Yeah. All right. But um, 
<laughs> you got like a certain job because my I, I said to say this uh, no I'm I wasn't a, done okay go ahead my bad no sorry. I was just saying whoever he is he gotta look I'm just saying just period yeah, before yeah, yeah. I, but you know somebody with stability of course okay and I already said somebody funny gotta have personality and mm-hmm. um like just somebody who I can actually like, like get yeah, to know on a whole yeah. nother level. Cause I told you I'm into spiritual, so okay. yeah. Like that, he got to be able to grow with me. That funny shit is important to me. Like you got to be able to accept me for being funny for real. Loki, I just described Will Smith. <laughs> Let me like, ask you subconsciously. This, Before, while we stay shout up. out to y'all. Yeah, shout, I uh, want them to adopt me. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I used to love Jay Pickett, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> when she was on Jason Lyric, man, I watched that music. I mean, music. That movie oh, all god. the time. You can't be talking about Auntie like that. <laughs> Jason Lyric, no. Hold on. Oh, if you look at Jason's lyric, oh my man, I never forget that sex scene in the motherfucking park. Oh my god, I had to be about now. Like God damn, oh Jay Pickett, cold. <laughs> I love you, Jay Pickett. I love you. If you ever see us, just know I love you. I think August I've seen a lover or two and shit, but that's another story though. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you say um, you were talking about your uh, your ideal dude, whatever and stuff, and um, I just want to ask you this one question: like, all right, you in a relationship with a dude, right? Y'all, 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 y'all trying to make this work. Y'all got you know plans for the future and stuff. Sex. When you know you with the same person every day, three sixty five, seven days a week. Like with sex, how you like do it? Should be every day or every other day because I know that motherfucking coochie in and out. I know his name. I know what he say what she say. I know everything about this person and his coochie and shit. So like, do you want some space in between? Like, you know, I'm here on Monday. Let me see about Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm, I'm chill Thursday. Because guess what? This is the same person you about to mess around with every day of your life. So I feel you should have like some space in between, in between, in between, in between to miss the pussy. Because if you hit the pussy every day, you ain't going to miss the pussy. That's what made niggas cheat. So if you give me a little time, like, you know, Monday I smash. Thursday I smash again. You know, Sunday I smash again. Like, niggas be saying they, they should get the motherfucker ass every day or vice versa. Like, how you feel about that if you want to talk about it? <laughs> should it be every day or should you miss that shit a little bit funny story behind <laughs> that too I had made a status I want to say he was either on Facebook or I said on Instagram it was one of the two Okay. and I had said something about like whoever gonna be my main dude he gotta give me sex what I say? <laughs> I think it was five times a week or something crazy like that. Okay. And you should have saw the responses yeah. off it. <laughs> so, I mean, some people that's that straight, but like I just sometimes I think you should have some time to miss that shit. Like, damn, shit, I ain't hit I ain't hit Felicia in two days. Oh. You know what I'm saying? She walking around with my Barry Sanders jersey on. I got a song about that shit too. It's called, you know, you gonna hear it P on twenty. You incriminate yourself. So that's what you <laughs> about no, to do. Girl, like, I tell her like dog like you know, it, I mean, of course you want to smash on the regular. Like, yeah, you want to smash on the regular. But if you smash on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know the ins and outs. You know what she gonna do and what you know. You know, I feel it like, yeah. like, like, it, like I said, it just you just gotta know your person. Yeah, like, you with this you person. Gotta, yeah, that's what I'm day. saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I wind up with somebody, I'm gonna know mm-hmm. like his sex drive and all yeah. that. And that's another thing you gotta have. You gotta know what you're doing because I'm not even gonna lie. If you don't know what you're doing, we can't <laughs> be like hey, for real. That's funny. Have a nigga ever gave you some dog ass full play, but then. And just like can't quit. Like you know he ate that box good. <laughs> <laughs> I just be like, you know what? You get good, real right? like yeah. What up, Dante? I, ooh, that's my brother name. <laughs> oh shit, my bad. Ooh. What up, Will? <laughs> and then like, cause I heard I forgot what podcast I was listening to, but it, that shit had me rolling. Like you know what? I think it was a Joe Budden podcast, but he's like, man, I got some dog ass full play and can't quit. But you know what? As a dude, I'm gonna represent us real quick. Sometimes that happens. That's why I be telling dudes, come as you are. Yeah. Cause once you start doing all that, that's where it becomes no, a problem. But sometimes right there. in a relationship, a girl can't spit the longest. Sometimes it might be the quickest. But see, look, I come, <laughs> I come in a situation, well, at least with that situation, humble. I don't come in <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'm the best, whatever. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. you ain't never the best unless you just a devil. Like, come I on. Call myself, I'm the sixth man. You know what? Sometimes I might be good and sometimes I might not be shit. <laughs> See that right there? No. <laughs> I, 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 I need to know. Is yeah. you the best? No, sometimes I might give you 40. Sometimes I might give you a strong 15. Because guess what? Sometimes a boxing match is three minutes. And yeah, that can be a real. long ass three minutes. <laughs> I might give you seven different positions in three minutes. <laughs> I might hit the bat. I might flip you. If I know I'm not having I'm I I'm gonna have an off night. Let me go ahead and oh give her eighteen God. positions. <laughs> <And> four, <laughs> you gotta know your 
whole self like, oh, I'm good today. I had this crown vanilla. Shit, I'm good. One day I might have some Sprite. I might be sleepy. You know what? I'm sleepy. You might get the best four minutes of your life. So you saying the liquor gets you lit? I mean, it, it was certain niggas, certain things. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, I heard weed get you good. You know, sometimes you just shit. You gotta know yourself. Sometimes you gotta say, nigga, you gotta count sheep in your head, nigga. <laughs> you gotta know your God, shit. You gotta say count sheep, you though. Got, but in a relationship, though, I learned this from the OG. You know what I'm saying? You have good days, you have bad days. Your good days is real, real slim. Your 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 bad days is real slim. For I mean. the guy or the girl? Your good days is all, your good days is always outweigh your bad days. Wait for the guy or the girl? The guys. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes y'all might come in. With I'm some, gonna say like. Huh, I mean, sometimes girls I come never in, have complaints. I'm gonna say sometimes a girl might come <laughs> never, in. Never ever have I mean, complaints. But once you get in a relationship, sometimes you no, might come in with I that. I haven't. <laughs> Why are you looking at all? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying this. So, all right, you not your pain. Sometimes you might get in a relationship with Craig. And y'all been together for Why a Why gotta be Craig though? Okay, sometimes you might get with Dante. I mean, uh. Ooh, not with Leon. Leon my brother. Sometimes Ooh. you might get with Leon and shit. And you know, y'all on an everyday basis. Sometimes you might come into that motherfucking bed with you know, motherfucking Desert Storm or something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all shit might be Finny Sons. <laughs> well, a lot of times, like, people don't know, like, a lot of times when girls get like that, it's really because. I guess the guy's supposed yeah. to like take it there. So if, if yeah. my shit just dry, it's really you, technically. What if you just don't feel like it, though? Just tell him I don't feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? She, my, she gonna be mad at me, though. I remember her other day and shit. Uh, oh, no, like three weeks ooh, ago. Ooh, no, ooh, no, no, story, no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying. It was three weeks ago and shit. No, you know what I'm saying? No. So she sleep like a motherfucker, oh knocked out. God. I'm talking about knocked out. So I'm going that mud trying to. Was it right? If you're trying to just eat the box without her knowing? Like, <laughs> Not really. But she didn't know. And she need me in my damn nose. I got mad. Like, what the fuck? Right, right. Did she she hit you in the nose? She need me in my nose. But she didn't know. So now I'm at work like, you know I try to smash you. You need me. Like, what? You, I need you. She didn't remember the whole night. She sleep hard. So I try to call myself like, you know what I'm saying? Sneaking the shit in real quick. You know what I'm saying? Give me a for real, for real. And I, <laughs> I mean, I've been sleeping. You know, sometimes you sleep. You just don't know. I, that'd be a best sense that I don't know I'm about to have sex. Like you, you don't know you about to have sex. You just laying in bed. You might stroll on Instagram. Might watch some NBA highlights. You like, you know what? You know what? Her, her butt. You know what I'm saying? Feel a little good right now, real quick. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, what? I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get down real quick. And then she need you in the nose. Like you like, God damn, my shit bleeding a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> so then down there, know about that shit. She didn't know, have no idea what I was talking about and shit. Like that was that little sneaky sex, that little Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> that went wrong. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Little Freddy Krueger says and shit. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I can't right now. <laughs> Little Freddy. He said Little Freddy Krueger though. But 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 listen to you and stuff right now. It seemed like I ain't I ain't talking for you, but it seemed like you ain't. Right now, you you good with just being single and, and concentrating on your music, and like stuff. for real, and just me as a person. Yeah, like, but there's never nothing wrong with that because like you don't want to get in a relationship just because. Like, and I really realized that like mid last year, yeah. like I, I I I'm not even ready. So yeah. how can I sit up here? Because no. I ain't gonna lie, like. We as single women don't be realizing this sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like we we don't know if we really want to be in a relationship or we just yeah. want a person just to, that just yeah. to be around. Some you know motherfuckers just don't want to be by their goddamn self. You feel me? Like, yeah. Niggas be like, damn, I'm in the crib by myself. That's why some girls be taking anything like a guy yeah. disrespecting them or whatever yeah. because it's more so like we just want somebody around to make us feel. You know what I'm you saying? Because we crying, cause and that's why I'm saying like I <laughs> like like getting near deep into the spiritual world. I'm starting to look at people as more so like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? More so past like the flesh or whatever. Yeah. More so like what are your what is your brain cells is telling yeah, you in yeah. a situation? Because our relationships like dog, it'd be best once you you know what I'm saying be- I'm sick, I said brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> once you once you discover yourself like, you know, I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? Then you get in a relationship, but like some some girls or some dudes sometimes a force a relationship like dog, like just chill. You yeah, feel me? Like just, just, just motherfucking chill. If if I gotta be in a situation it's forced, yeah. It's Niggas be crying they Netflix and me. <laughs> it's that Netflix and chill like shit. It's Netflix and me. Oh my god! But sometimes I'll be happy and with that hanging. shit. Oh yeah, shit. and that lotion and Pornhub. I'm good. <laughs> but that's what you know. You all right? Talk about Pornhub. What's the weirdest Pornhub? Oh no, no, no. Oh, we ain't about to get into oh, this because yeah, I don't know nothing about Pornhub. You, you do. Me. You just you just mentioned it. <laughs> Listen, I got followers who be putting up that type of stuff. What's the weird? What's the weirdest porn you looked up? I'll tell you first. I don't think I ever looked at any weird porn. You ain't ever looked at midget? 
porn, like midget porn, <laughs> handicap porn. Like I ain't gonna lie, being on some nosy <laughs> shit, I did. Yeah, I you did. Done. You see a nigga uh, scoop the girl the wheelchair and shit, she can't move like. Darn. <laughs> You really scooped out the wheelchair and shit, like you know, rock the world. She didn't even know it though, because oh her motherfucking legs paralyzed. Oh my god! <laughs> so if your legs You're terrible paralyzed, for that one. Oh I wonder if your legs paralyzed if the motherfucking coop if her pussy paralyzed too. Like, I mean, I guess you would know it. She she probably be dry or something. You know, know, no comment for that one. <laughs> Damn. Cause, uh, me and my dog shout out to Easy Fresh. We was talking about um hitting Siamese twins, and if the other one don't feel like it, but y'all sharing the same motherfucking vagina and shit. So she get her role right to you mad like <laughs> what? <laughs> and of course your head bobbing because y'all got the same body and shit like. And then I had said like like if she pick up the leg, he pick up the legs like hold on pick up her leg, leave my leg alone because y'all shit y'all got two legs like but oh, one leg is yours one leg. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Or if you jealous like because your Sammy twins like little burying you and shit so. Man, where it's motherfucker just go ahead just slapping her up and shit you look like. Oh my god. <laughs> Cause you might be cock out and shit like you never know it. <laughs> oh my god, you! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said Pornhub, so you open that up. No, like I was looking at something <laughs> on the internet, and it it, it was kind of because it was one of those uh, situations where somebody was like, "Click here to see oh, whatever," yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, click, yeah, and yeah. I clicked it, and it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think um the last weird thing I saw was the two girls in one cup. That oh yeah, one, that shit dope. That, 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 that shit nasty. Oh. Yeah, that shit nasty as fuck. Hell yeah. The first thing I cut it off. Yeah. I was like, no, I couldn't do this. But I just remember being a little, a little, a little homie at junk, and then like my dad, we had like a little uh, one bedroom apartment at junk. So of course, like the reaction though yeah. from that, oh. like I used to see people put a, like a reaction video off of that. Oh yeah, it'd be like, and then they'd be like, throwing up, <laughs> gagging and junk. Like man, that shit nasty as a goddamn. See, like I said, after one, when I saw one, I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, I, was, I, I didn't see the whole yeah, thing. So I don't know what. No. I saw a piece of it. Like, oh no, I'm good. Click, click, click that shit off real quick. But like, I remember my dad and then watching pornos, and you not understand like that in the old school pornos, they got they always wear all white. So I take them pants off, all bush. Everybody got <laughs> <laughs> female got big ass motherfucker Don King bush under her shit, like buckwheat bush, like. This. <laughs> but that was like they thing back then, like they just going up like you is terrible. That, that was a good porno oh shit. I made sure I put it right back to where my dad left it and put it back. He what? still wait a minute. He still got porn. This back in the day though. This uh, back in like the nineties and shit. I'm like eight years sure? old watching porno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you ain't still got it. Somewhere? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm waking up like make sure let me make sure I put that bitch on two minutes. Wouldn't that be weird to walk in and see your people's just doing it like? Yo, uh, where's the person you walked in on? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was literally a legit on accident too. Yeah. My brother. Oh man. I walked in because I think I was young at the time. Yeah, yeah. And I think I walked in and asked him a question or something. And then get yeah. your ass out here, Nani. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like he was. They was under the covers. Yeah. And then he was, you know. And then I was like, yeah. So what? Uh, and I just yeah. ran out. I'm like, oh my god, what about the scene? <laughs> yeah, that the cover should be too hot though. Like, well, you need more, too much friction. Like, like you, he, he was, I mean, he was young. Like yeah. I think it was like. 16, 15, yeah. one of them times. Man, I never walked. I mean, of course, you. I mean, I saw my, my uncle. I walked in my uncle and auntie. I didn't walk in, but I went to a bathroom. A bathroom right across from the room. So you hear the shit like, God damn, they getting in. <laughs> Take my piss and walk back out and shit. Like, that's when you be young. Like, damn, what, what, what the fuck that shit about? But, you know, that's for another story, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I felt like that with weed to a certain extent. Because it was so strong. My people used to smoke. And yeah. I used to be around it a lot. So it was like, I kind of had like the back smell to it or something. <laughs> or whatever you yeah. want to call it. Like, because every time I smell, I'd be like, oh, I know what that is. Yeah, no, or whatever. I couldn't, I couldn't get down with the weedies. I was too. That shit, that shit had me paranoid. Because I started thinking for you. Whenever I smoke, I think what you thinking of me. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm not here like, damn, this nigga high. Like, no, I'm not. I'm talking. Oh, I'm having man. a two-person conversation, but it's just me. So that's why I say I can't smoke weed. So here. I'm just sitting here just like looking at you. And I'm thinking for you. Oh, oh. What you think of me? <laughs> that's why I, smoking weed is not a good thing for me, man. It, 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 no, yeah, you don't smoke. <laughs> no, I don't. If I do, I'll be at the crib by myself. And then I'll start thinking. This. You start thinking about crazy shit when you by yourself. Like, damn. Sound like somebody lacing your shit. Like she was, she was gone. Cause I literally be on cloud now when I'm high. I wish I could be like she was gone for ten minutes, and that ten minutes she could did this. Like I'm man, fuck that. I can't do it. I'd oh rather drink my drink, man. So getting off the sex and the condoms and everything, <laughs> <laughs> I want to get on your top ten. I I, I um, sent you this DM. I, I'm quite sure you didn't um, probably go about it, but you freestyle. Oh my god. <laughs> so for your top ten, 
if you want to do you want to do top 10 I, I said top 10 male and female as far as like artists no matter if they're a rapper or singer or whatever or do you want to mix it up I'll do like separate alright you want to start first or you want me to go um you can start and then I'll just alright now my top 10 for women it's hard cause like it's hard just to go but I just thought about it shit off the rip like Eve to me is underrated oh you know what I'm saying? Ooh, yes. Eve child. is cold. Like she had love is blind. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that my shit though. <laughs> she was cold. Lauren Hill, even though she got one album, like, and she got the shit with the Fugees, like she, she, she dope as hell. Like I wish she could come with some. Uh, I put TLC as a whole. I listened to some TLC shit. Like that was dope as hell. Like. Uh, yeah, TLC. Yeah, yeah T Bob's right. like had yeah, a motherfucking unique ass voice. Like, for so real you for count it. that as like you say you put him as a I whole. Put him as a, as a, yeah, as a uh, one. Oh, I got T. I got Sade because my mom put me on her as a younger. Yeah. Uh, Mary J. Even though my producer didn't agree with this shit. Mary he J. didn't Bob, agree with it. Yeah, because she Why? like the anthem of like. Fucked up relationship like Mary J. Blige is like she, she was the queen of pain. Yeah. Almost, like so I got Lil Kim just cause she like I think Lil Kim is like the mother of all these freak chicks like right now like the <laughs> the the, the uh, even though she don't want to admit to it uh Nicki Minaj like yeah you got you got Lil Kim Foxy Brown uh cause she was like the 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 freak but she was lyrical too okay her because hers is cold. I love her. I love her. Like her, Ugh. and I finally seen her face, and she nice looking. Like her is cold. Somebody said when I had black hair and glasses, yeah. I look just like her. Yeah, her cold. So I, I done heard that before. Yeah, her. Yeah, her cold. With the glasses, and yeah, if I had black hair, yeah. Cause I already got a big head, so <laughs> it, it makes sense. So. Uh, Erica Badu. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's mother right there. I remember there. she was at, um, in Dallas and Ville when she had the big old booty sticking out and shit. You know what I'm saying? I oh, past, yeah. Watch, I wrote past the area. Her, her dog and ex is still like crazy be, for her. Yeah, my thing that is, she, is, she, she changed, ain't even mother. Yeah, that's God right there. She changed every nigga, though. Like, nigga had niggas commenting under 3,000 just going crazy. And I mean, of course, you got to put Aaliyah in there. Oh, yeah. Because, like, a lot. Aaliyah was just dope, nigga, as far as, as, far as the asterisk, as far as, like, music. Like, Aaliyah was sweet as hell. Like, okay. She was dope. Who your, who your chicks are, like, off the rip? And you said it's 10, right? I mean, you can do five. You can't think of 10. No, I'm going to do 10. It just, I got to really think. <laughs> the reason why I, I thought about it is because I saw you post something as far as, like, 10 chicks that you had posted a while ago. Yeah. Um. So, because I, I can't remember verbatim, but I had said Sade was one, hands okay. down. Yeah. Sade, and she was nice. She what? Was nice. No, this ain't from Bess or nothing like that. I was just naming stuff. No, Sade is nice. Like, she cold. Nigga, you crazy. I'll hit you in your eyeball. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Good. And who else I said? I said Lauren Hills. Like, she's super dope. Yeah. I, now, she another one that I had grew up listening to. Her, okay. Erica Badu, all of them. Yeah. And Erica Badu is yeah. another one. Okay. Beyonce to me is that yeah. that that one. Yeah, only that's... because like the way she carried herself, like yeah. kind of like what I said earlier in the show about like carrying yourself a certain yeah. way. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like sure. yes, yeah. Beyonce definitely got to be up there. Okay. Rihanna because Rihanna is kind of like the heavy influencer as far as like yeah. girls that came up a certain way or whatever. Yeah. So Rihanna that. Girl, <laughs> um, Man, who else? Nice. She, she, she look nice though. <laughs> you, I'm oh, she does. She bad. I think I put Nikki <laughs> on there. Nikki Minaj. I love her. Okay. Oh, whatever. I like old Nikki when she was with Gucci Man. Like first when she got with uh Cash Money, I mean, Young Money. So it's, that's like what? Oh, she was a, eight. Yeah, when she was rapping, nine. rapping. Like yeah, I liked her then. I mean, I love Nikki. It just I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's still queen but it's just like I don't know what happened Nikki I just yeah. don't know yeah but um who else I love Megan Thee Stallion okay I had to put somebody new in there yeah you whatever. got to yeah for sure um who else um Missy Elliott yeah now Missy I I like her and I don't why I like her and I don't I like her because she like was creative as far as like her whole little sound and her whole little her look and everything uh but it kind of got a little tiresome because I'm like I wanted to hear her story. She never gave like a story. Like I, I always look, I love Lil Wayne, but I always want to hear like a story, like your upbringing, your your struggle and stuff like that. Like I'm like a I love story type rap, so I can get to know you right as a person. Missy was cold because she she kind of like changed the game as far as like the Foxy Brown, the little Kim, the whole I got where you know what I'm saying the sexy shit to just being a, a rapper and like an entertainer. Right. So I like her for that. How many people was that? Shit, might be eight, nine. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this list going to go on and on yeah. for me. So what about with your top 10 dudes? My junk 
is uh, Michael Jackson, of course, because I used to get good grades to get his CDs. Like Michael Jackson was the, was that nigga. DMS, because I don't feel he get the respect he should get. DMS is like the first. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. The, DMS was ahead. like the first nigga besides Tupac who was like the best of both worlds as far as rapping yeah. and acting. At the Tupac was DMS. If DMS would never got in trouble, he probably would have been like a big ass like. Cause actor. he could act and rap his ass yeah. off. Like, bro, he very, very, very unappreciated. Now, there's no like, no bro. order. Like, I had Michael Jackson, DMS, Biggie, uh, Rick Ross. Cause Rick Ross to me, he got like the best type of motherfucking production. Like, if I had to go with anybody as far as production wise, I'm gonna go with Rick Ross. Even though we shouldn't have had this man up here, R. Kelly still the fucking the truth though. Yeah. Like, for real. like you still on the wedding, you gotta go ahead and hustle to his shit. Like <laughs> I know when we get married, we gonna probably have some R. Kelly up there. Shit, I don't give a fuck who don't come on dance floor. Uh, Jeezy, cause he he had, him and Ti is both the trap kings. Like for real, for real. But so I put Jeezy and Ti out. Of course, Lil Wayne, cause he was like my first uh, rapper. I like as far as like. As my own opinion, like Tupac was my dad's shit, but Lil Wayne was like me, who I thought I picked him out of the whole Hot Boys, like he the coldest. Uh huh. And uh, of course, Tupac is my favorite rapper ever, and Nas is my second favorite rapper ever. Hmm. And so, then wait, got, so who the first one again? My favorite rapper is 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 is, is Pop. Okay. And then you gotta go with that one dude. He underrated. He real nice. Who? And he he a host of this podcast. His name is Shad. It's me. <laughs> and he got a project coming out on the twentieth. Y'all better go ahead and recognize that. Go okay, ahead, period. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well my first, of course, we all know Tupac or yeah, whatever. That's it. He's the best rapper. Okay, number two I said was Jay Z. Well, really, I gave y'all four earlier. Was it? You it was Jay Z, Jay Z, Nas. 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 Yep. So of course, the, I say the top four. So that yeah. that's just gone off bail. Okay. Um, Lil Wayne. He yeah. another one. Um. I gotta put DMX in there yeah. cause I was gonna say DMX too yeah the truth yeah for sure um who else um and you know what he another one that slept on Big Pun yeah oh, he yeah, was to yeah. me like another Biggie yeah. as far as like the way he used to do, come through and deliver so oh, yeah for sure he, he yeah. yeah if he would've got more time and like you know what I'm saying he would've been out there too hell yeah um who else um <sighs> um that's when it get hard <laughs> Um, cause I gotta put some back in the day people on there too. Yeah, I would say Ice Cube. Ice Cube is cold. Like he, my, yeah. he, he up there in my in my um my shit too. Cause like he wrote all uh, NWA shit basically. Like like he, for real. He the reason why them niggas got big for real. Like for real, for real. Like that nigga was cold. Like niggas sleep on his pen game for real. <laughs> for real. Um, did I say Biggie? Oh yeah, he was yeah. in the top four. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so um. Okay, it's two people now. Damn. Um, cause I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm trying to think about everybody. Yeah. Low key, I'll even put M on there. Yeah, okay. Eminem. Yeah. No, like for real, I will put yeah. him on there. As a, yeah. Go ahead. No, what you gonna say? No, I'm about to say, cause sometimes a lot of times with Eminem, I feel like he dope. He can rap. Don't get me wrong. Like, I never hate on him as far as that, but he never got, he, he don't have no playback shit. Like, you never hear niggas like, you hear niggas go play but y'all gotta, Jay-Z. But y'all got to, like, Nas. really, and I ain't trying to start nothing, but yeah. it's the truth. Like, Eminem is white, of course. Yeah. He can only speak for, like, white America. That's yeah. why his success went the way it went. Yeah. You feel cold, me? Don't get me wrong, he cold as hell. Like, yeah. I never take away nothing from him. But it's just like that playback. I always think about that playback. Like, a lot of people, you can play back, a lot of people you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, Biggie, Pac, Nas, Jay. You can always play old this shit. Yeah. And have a good time listening to it. Eminem, mm, he dope. He can rap. But I ain't about to go ahead and, and break my neck to listen See, to See, the thing is, like, Eminem my list, I'm, I'm talking about, like, a combination of a lot of things. Like, yeah. the feeling, the feel, lyrical, yeah. and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it really just, like... I mean, lyrically, you got to put Eminem up there, because he, he lyrically... Yeah, now, lyrical, yeah. But I think, real. like, now he... I don't know. He don't sound like the old Eminem. He sound like he trying to like, I don't know. Trying well, to he, but didn't you say he was on drugs at one point in time? At one point, yeah. Or so maybe because like he ain't doing that shit no more. I don't know, but... <laughs> but no, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I can't even front because like, I see why people be on shit for mm-hmm. real. Yeah. Like, when they make songs because it's like, you ain't thinking so hard. Yeah. Like, see, for real. Me, I, I, I found out this past Thursday that um, I shouldn't drink and record because usually I'm a one-take I'm a one take nigga. 
I was 15 taking that shit like, damn, I can't drink this. <laughs> I can't drink this crown vanilla in the studio. <laughs> oh my god! Like for real, for real. So yeah, that's, that's your shit. Okay, let's talk about um R and B because I, I listen to your shit. You you like you heard R and B influence? Yeah. Who are some people you you look up as in R and B and shit like just strictly R and B? Just strictly R and B. Um, like I. Like we, I listen we, to all the, a lot of back in the day stuff. So yeah. really, most of my answers gonna be back in the day, yeah. like Patti Labelle. Yeah. Um, I'll throw in Aaliyah right there. I think I could connect more with her as far as like okay on certain songs. Yeah. Um, who else? Like, of course, I'm gonna do the same thing. Throw TLC in there. Yeah, yeah. The Supremes, like people like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I like Eddie Kendrick from Temptations. Yeah, Dead you know Ruffin. what I'm saying? Like people who has like you know what I'm saying that really mm-hmm. like. I don't know. They had a mystery yeah. to their music. But we look at the Temptation of... movie. Like, I don't know if you you watched the Temptation. Yeah. Oh, they who hasn't. Yeah. <laughs> but my thing is this: like, oh, this come on, bro. <laughs> this nigga I swear, like, nigga, nigga, they rough and Eddie Kendrick was the fucking Temptations, nigga. Like, when that nigga custom. Well, nigga, no, if you really think Otis about it, everybody kind of like had a role in Otis it. Because I was just listening to some songs and I thought about that. I was like, because you had Blue, he did yeah, the, yeah, yeah. you know, but, the deep voice. But hold on, hold on. That's Eddie all I'm gonna say too, them. as far as like new edition. That one nigga was just—he was just a D, a D voice. Yeah, baby, I love you. You know he's saying that shit. Like, <laughs> but, but that's why I'm saying, like, if you really think about it, Eddie—I mean, not Eddie. Oh my god. Um, Otis didn't really yeah. like have a major like no, he, he did, didn't. but he didn't. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's kind of like that's like we look at new edition. I don't like, know. Who was, you 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 up on new edition? Like who? Was yeah. The, like who was that nigga on new edition? Because you gotta look at Ralph Transvan had the voice, but as an individual, he didn't have shit. Sensitivity, like, come on, cuz we ain't trying to listen to that shit. By oh, Brown was that thug, that rebel. He was like the hardest nigga. But like, Bill Bill DeVoe was was cool as far as they, they shit. But like, Ralph had. The what best about Jada? Um, I'm gonna say Jada Kiss. Oh, <laughs> I, I, didn't I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. Um, Jagged Edge. How you feel oh, about them? I just said that shit on the last episode. Jagged Edge is the best, one of the best groups of our era because they never broke up. If they did, nobody never did their own shit. It was always a group. You know, with with one twelve, you had Slim did his own shit. With New Edition, everybody did their own shit. With B two K, you had Marion. Like you always had somebody do their own shit. Yeah. With Jacket Edge, they stayed as a group. Nobody never did no solo shit. It was always a group. If they wasn't fucking with each other, they wasn't fucking with music. Well, what? A, no, cause I'm gonna say Pretty Ricky. <laughs> when they was, oh, when yeah. they had a little nigga, time. Boyfriend number no, two. No, cause you shit. had pleasure. He went off and did. Yeah, he did. Well, Boyf- I don't know if y'all was hip to I, him. I was but. boyfriend number two and all that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was okay. So just like Amarion, they was yeah. out here but for Amarion real. Amarion was like the the truth for real. Like, yeah, cause he could dance. Yeah, he, he could, could sing. Do, yeah, like, he was in movies, like, all ice, types like of that, stuff. Ice box and shit. Like, I was in that bitch trying to touch, dance, and motherfucker chicken and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think everybody tried to dance like Amarion. Well, but to me, what's that when um when Chris Brown um had whooped on Rihanna, he the only reason why like a lot of niggas got got they shit off. Like Trey Songz, I don't think he would have been as big <laughs> until Chris Brown had had did that shit. Once Chris Brown got the picture, that's when you know it's Trey Songz started blowing up. Chris Brown had like a four year like just like. So wait, 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 hold on, because I gotta make sure I'm hearing this right. You hearing it right? You saying, <laughs> you saying, if Chris Brown didn't have that case with the Rihanna, Trey Songz wouldn't be as big as he would. He would, I, cause he he gave time for for Trey Songz, Neo, like dog. Chris Brown was fucking. But no, the game. but see the thing is, people don't realize it's like Neo. Ne- Neo he may not sing. got the popularity, but, really sing, though. but he, not only that, but he really is out here, cause yeah. he he does song right for people like Beyonce. Oh, yeah, he sure. really is out here. Hey, man, he uh, just don't get the recognition uh, like that. What's that too though? You can't forget about him as far as songwriter uh, Sean Garrett. Yeah, he a, he a, he a fucking songwriter. Um, who was who 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 wrote that? Uh, Neo wrote what's that shit? He always says shit too. Uh, Mario. Uh, um, make made me love you or some shit. I forgot yeah. that song. It was it was something to that. But to me, Chris Brown that whole shit when he had to take those years off, he really gave niggas a chance to blow up. Like, cause Chris Brown was really fuck niggas was comparing him to Michael Jackson. Like, as far as like a showmanship, like he was performing like a motherfucker, singing like a. And motherfucker. And you know, I hate that when people compare to people. Like, I used to hate when people, especially rappers, yeah. like they will compare themselves to somebody in the past, yeah. and it, it mainly but, always be Tupac. And it's yeah. just like, bro, let Tupac be yeah, great for yeah, what yeah. he what he was. Leave him alone. Let that man rest. Oh, you feel me? Sure. But I, I like that's a big pet peeve of mine. The reason I compare Chris Brown to Mike because he can dance like a motherfucker. No, that's true. But it's just like Chris Brown, low key, he just like Mike. In a way, he didn't literally like 
took like literally bless some people yeah, like yeah, yeah. T Grizzly you know what I'm saying then when he reposted the side of the everybody that yeah, yeah. people didn't wasn't really uh, him to yeah. let Chris Brown repost cause Chris Brown a real thing. nigga though that's why I, that's, like, that's why bro. I fuck with him cause he a, outside being R&B he's just a real nigga like, like that's what I'm saying like he was the reason why I got him to the baby for real yeah Cause I think he had posted a, a freestyle the baby okay, did yeah, or something. Yeah. He was like, "This is hard." And that's the person. And I'm like, "Who is that?" Yeah, that's why people you you got like like niggas who can really show love and you know saying you up here and you showing niggas from the bottom like you showing niggas love. I said all this shit with T Grizzly. He was telling a nigga how like to hold the microphone and shit like that, like how to perform and shit. Now as far as like we we talking about the artists we like. As far as back go back to you, do you ever feel like you need to move away to become bigger? I didn't put the baby on there. Damn, we just got. No. To- I didn't put the baby on that list. Go ahead, you he on your list? Yeah. The baby cold though. Like I, I was. Listening I didn't. To, I'm sorry. What's his name? Shout out to the baby. Some Kurt, like his, I think it's his real name, Kurt. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. His shit was cold. Like I ain't gonna lie. His shit. Was no, cold. his last name is Kurt. I'm sorry. His first name is Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His shit was. His shit was strange. I, I'm just getting hip to him or whatever. Now, as far as you, like, do you feel like you ever need to move away from Detroit just to make your music a little bigger or just to get out there a little more? Do you ever think about that? So what's up? You gonna move? <laughs> That's what I plan on doing. Like, honestly, where though? Like Atlanta, Cali, like you know, those are two places that mostly people move to as far as like just to get your music buzzing a little harder. Um, it's either Cali or I want to say Atlanta, really, because mm. Cali, you gotta basically have a life insurance to stay <laughs> out there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, sure. they they garage is like ten racks of Hell fucking yeah. like oh, bear on shit be high as hell. My brother stay out there and he moved back. That's to- what I'm saying. Like if you say in LA, you gotta be rich basically. Hell yeah. But really, um, Atlanta only because they, from what I understand. People like Gucci, say like Gucci and all them. Yeah. They literally walk. It's kind of like L.A. Yeah. Celebrities walk around there. Well, at least certain places. Let me rephrase that. Certain places freely yeah. because it's like where they at. These people, okay, yeah, they somebody, but they just regular. Old, they okay, yeah. hey, no goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like yeah. literally, like I think one time I went to L.A. and I had walked past. Um, who was it? I think it was. It was some little basketball player I th- or a comedian or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's such and such. But somebody from Cali was like, and he's out here all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, dang, I ain't from here. So I mean, yeah, a lot of times, like, we, we hold ourselves back in the city because niggas ain't going to really show you love in Detroit. I mean, it's sad to say because a lot of motherfuckers want to get on their damn self. So instead of me posting you like, yeah, check this person out, they going to be like, fuck that person. I mean, hey, it's about me. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, like, I was telling the last person I had, well, you know, it take, it take us to hold each other down for us to get up there as far as like being looked at from other people well no it ain't it ain't every city ain't like that like no, there's some people no. like cause I heard like it's other cities that's like that like yeah. they don't support people of course at like all. in the beginning or whatever until you get big yeah until yeah. you get well or, oh, I say a name out here or like they um, don't break cash out like the niggas love them but when they got big and supposedly sound with Jeezy niggas start hating on them so it just depends like Niggas are uh, uh, hate on you like, oh yeah, nigga too good to be back in the city. Like, no, nigga, I'm trying to Listen, expand my what career. What people don't know is Big Sean, I'ma take him and shout out to Big Sean because hey, when I met Sean. him like I was already, you know what I'm saying, but I really got mad respect for Big Sean because when they I met show him love too. But that's what I'm saying though, like can you know how you meet celebrities and I don't know where everybody be asking celebrities half the time, <laughs> but when you meet them, or whatever, like they be coming off. It's kind of like a persona they gotta put on or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like he was literally cool, and I asked him because you know I'm like, listen, I'm not. Here. I told him who I was, whatever, and I just basically asked him straight up, like, cause I mean, this probably the one only time I'm gonna ever see you again. Yeah, yeah. What did you do to make you get to where you're trying to go? Like I was more so asking him, like, what was your formula basically? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I lacking or whatever? In your so, opinion. Yeah. And, of course, he gave me the little politically correct, like, you know what I'm saying, stay true to yourself, whatever. Yeah. But what made me, like, really, like, it kind of been turned back, but it was in a good way, though. He was like, if you got something and it's working for you, yeah. use it, manifest or whatever, and then watch how, like, it's going to take off for you. Yeah, for sure. Like, for real. Because yeah. I even see it, like, like I said, um, I even see it with some rap chicks that's either bigger than me or in the same lane as me. Yeah. They taking certain certain things either from me or whatever. Because I'm not even going to lie. This is no shy. I have not seen girls rock bandanas until I came out. Yeah. For real. 
Yeah, Cause I, if you like look at my act, I always have some type of bandana on. Not yeah. saying I'm a gang or nothing <laughs> like that, but like again, my brand is the whole rebel brand. You feel yeah. me? Like it basically what you see is what you get. I was you know what I'm saying? But I saw you uh, maybe a week or two ago. You you had like a little uh, you was you was you was talking shit on the, on, on on IG. Mm -hmm. I, I, you was, I think he was in the car talking shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Um, <laughs> wait a minute, name. which part? Which part? Cause uh, I always talk shit. You, so which you was part? Talking, you was talking shit heavy, like and then the next day you kind of like said like you know what I was doing this because of this. Or oh, whatever. you talking about when I said like I would dog walk some people? You talking yeah, about that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about beating people's ass and stuff? I think. No, <laughs> I mean. Okay, I ain't gonna again. I ain't gonna drop names or whatever. But it was a situation <laughs> basically, like, it, like okay, people in this industry just all together is fake. Like that whole thing was literally saying they like the industry fake. Yeah, they ain't lying about that. Okay. So it was more so like. I already came in the game knowing what to expect. Yeah. But it just like don't sit up here and play a role with me. Yeah. So basically, like. I had to let it be known, like, I will go there with y'all. Like, don't play with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, again, I don't promote violence. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Really, when I make songs, it's really from either something I'm currently going through and what I'm thinking at that time or whatever. But as far as promoting it, like, no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just as much of a person as the next person. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So, um, going back to my original point or whatever, like... And <laughs> and yeah, 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 I feel you, I feel you with and, uh, and get off of that. Cause I just wanted to touch on that because I saw that we were talking about our whole little top ten stuff. Like you watch making the band growing up, yeah. So if you had four people, including yourself, what would be your perfect band? Talking about as far as like what? Just like the industry people, like a, a four person, oh, mine? a four person group with yourself. So with mine, why you you know saying mine's would be uh mine's would be me. Okay. T Pain, cause that nigga just a monster on everything. J yeah. Cole, oh, I gotta go ahead and throw a chicken there. Lauren Hill, mm. that's my group. Me, T Pain, J okay, Cole, Lauren Hill. Okay, okay, you really cool as yourself. All right, it would be me. Mm -hmm. I would say Rihanna. Okay. I'm torn between Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. They both do. I love, I love Cardi B though. Cause she hurt. I, they they gonna have to share that one. Cause <laughs> I can't I can't pick and choose with that one. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I say for somebody from back in the day. Mm hmm. Mm. Ooh, why you do this to me? <laughs> Shout out for anybody. Uh, uh, find a way to stump you. <laughs> for real. Damn. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about yeah. this. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Motherfucker, go ahead. pretty soon people gonna be jacking my style and thinking of the questions I think of. You know, it's all good. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I give y'all that one for free. <laughs> oh my god. You should have a sound blend. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what they call it? The uh, the but, I mean, it's a or group. Or you got you. You got Rihanna, Meg, Cardi. Cardi. I say they share that though. Y'all can have y'all can be in there. Together. They gotta share that because yeah. I don't know. That's a hard. Who your dude though? Y'all, did you name a dude? Oh, I ain't even name a dude. Yeah, good. I think I probably have to say the baby. Right. No, no, damn. <laughs> you out here, Kurt? <laughs> oh, everybody know the baby is yeah. yeah. But <laughs> they're punching girls in the eyes though. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, don't don't go in niggas' faces with cameras, dog. Like you don't know how niggas are. Like, uh, he might thought you. Had I gotta say, Sada too. Then, if that's the case, okay, that nigga be dancing and just like you know what I'm saying. But, but I ain't gonna lie, Sada, Sada be snapping though. Yeah, like he do, he do, he do. like he really be snapping. I mean, we just didn't grip with his jeans, but he good. You know what I'm oh saying? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right, before we get to my the end of stuff, I saw you was in a movie. Um. The lies you tell. Mm -hmm. Cause I was, I, you know, what I'm saying I, I do my research. Mm -hmm. What was your role in that movie? And was it big, small? It what? was a big role. Okay. I was actually the main character. Um, Who are you? I played uh, Keisha, okay. and basically my character was um, a girl. I came from four sisters, and we kind of came up, kind of messed up or whatever. Okay. And they explore in the um, movie about like different past, like what happened or mm -hmm. whatever, and like what we taken. Okay. Like I had an older sister that's married, but whatever. Then another sister that's basically 
I ain't gonna say a hoe, but yeah. that's kind of out here or whatever. Yeah. Then I got another one who got a kid or whatever. So it's kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm basically the sister. I don't know. Like it's just like I'm basically like you know what I'm saying the yeah. crazy one, the okay. kind of ain't ain't shit one or whatever. <laughs> so um, my co-star um, race fan, he was um, he played Sebastian or whatever. Okay. And in the beginning, I actually started off like cool but then when it got to the point where it didn't go my way a couple times that's when i started being so do you see you see yourself doing like more movies or whatever oh yeah okay i love acting that's what's up we got we got some movies coming out pretty soon we let you know about it (laughs) (laughs) my first movie though all right you got that book um dog you about to get married that's name my the movie dog you about to get married it's just a little timid movie. Nothing you know crazy. what? This <laughs> is comedy and shit. Like, like you know Said how you... dog, you about to get married. Dog, you about to get married. Be on the lookout for dog, you about to get married. <laughs> but, um, as, before we, uh, so what's your, what's your goal as far as this year? Like, the end of this year, like, you got any goals you want to even set for yourself or you got anything you want to get accomplished before this year is over with? It's been fucked up here with the corona, Kobe. You know, like that's right there. That's I ain't up. gonna lie, twenty twenty kind of kind of came in kind of strong. Yeah, like it's, it's it came in, in with it's, no holes it's bars. Kicking ass right like, now. <laughs> shoot. But really, my goal is to like, you know, what I'm saying, just be in a better predicament than where I'm at. Really, for sure. Oh yeah, always, always. Yeah. Now we always before we get to our last segment, the segment before we do a top three. So, I need your top three TV shows of all time. Hmm. Yo, yo, top three go to TV shows. Oh, favorite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ones you had to create. You know what? I want to watch this motherfucking TV show real quick. I'm a big ass kid. Yeah. But Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the shit though. Um, Keenan and Kel. Yeah, yeah, I like that shit. Oh, here it goes. Right? These ain't my favorites, but it could ice more, but. Who loves orange soda? <laughs> oh, yeah. Boondocks. Boondocks? All right, bad, bad, bad. Give me your, uh, give me your top three movies. Friday. All right. The first one, well, to me, is more of a classic. Hell yeah. Um, Juice. Okay, you gangster. <laughs> um, I'll say. Lean on me. Okay. You you, you don't crack, boy. <laughs> Give me your top three foods. Um, lasagna. Yeah, I love some lasagna. Um, well, I'm a pasta girl, so most of the dishes I'm gonna name is pasta, mm-hmm. mac and cheese, of course. Okay. And spaghetti. I love goddamn spaghetti. I made the best hood spaghetti. Though. I gotta put the little sausage in that motherfucker. Oh my god. Little uh, half Italian sausage, some motherfucking <laughs> ground beef. <laughs> Motherfuck ground I mean green peppers I'm, I'm the truth cuz Give me your top 3 Detroit artists You can clue yourself too Me of course Alright S- Sada Um Loki Rocky Bad Okay yeah she's straight I like her shit She's straight she's Yeah straight. Yeah she's straight She's straight Get on the show uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm quite sure I know this shit Your top 3 rappers Top 3 rappers Yeah All time I gotta think about this one. <laughs> um, we know two part number one. Gotta be. Wait, you said top three rappers? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said like girl and oh no 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 um, top three rappers. Oh too. yeah, well yeah, two part number one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Hove again mm-hmm. and Wayne. That's a good top three. Salute to you. All right, uh, this is the last one before we end the show. Go ahead, give me your um. We talk about hot moment, jump moment. Just like uh, a situation that you was in, like God damn, that was fucked up situation, or I was messed up, whatever. Ooh, so I got a good. It be hot moment, jump moment, or uh, both, both of them. Like which I got a both high and a drunk moment. All right, so me and my home girl, we came up with this little pack that um after that day we was gonna stop drinking and smoking or whatever so we made that last day to do whatever we wanted to do so she went to the corner store at the time and she bought some cheap liquor Mm. i think it was called red olive or something like that (laughs) or whatever and it was like at the time well at least the clerk had told us it was real cheap but it would get you where you're trying to go oh yeah so we sat up there we took a big gallon i'm talking about it was like this cup but it was like 
that much yeah like as a shot or whatever so <laughs> so we had uh i think we had drunk that we had ate a um what they call it a weed uh yeah. twizzler or something like that oh shit yeah. that's when they was making it into candy and yeah, all that yeah, yeah. but we didn't eat that till we got to where we was trying to go mm-hmm. now mind you i didn't feel none of this all this didn't kick in yeah. i'm just going or whatever so we into the uh the little place we was gonna go you know we party i ran into some people up in there whatever yeah so around the middle towards the end of the night that's when it was just like boom because after that <laughs> we had drunk um i think it was uh sex on a uh, beach like yeah. two of them or whatever yeah. and then all of a sudden like it was going good and it was <laughs> boom or whatever when that motherfucker boom hit you it's right no listen <laughs> that was the worst yeah. i threw up I went to the bathroom. I okay. wasn't all like in no. Oh yeah, public. Yeah. Like you, it's still one percent that knows what you're doing a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So I threw up in the bathroom. It was one point that I blacked out <laughs> to the point like she had to shake me. And then I heard people say, "Call nine one one," because I did. Damn. Like I literally blacked out because I never did that before. <laughs> let alone had a liquor that was not like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm just like. And then I heard pe- I hear people shaking me. Now mind you, I had a wig on too at the time, yeah. so it was like brown though. <laughs> so I'm sitting up here, and I'm glad it didn't fall though, because I did literally fell back I'm hard. Like, shit like that motherfucker came up. No, it was literally like on my head or whatever. And backs out. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear I, I feel I don't know who was shaking me. I don't know if it was a girl or my friend. Yeah. Somebody call nine one one. Somebody call nine one one. Then my dumb ass friend, she know I don't like police. I yeah. really don't. Yeah. So she came up to me. She was like, Nadia, get up. Woo, woo. The police is coming. Why am I stupid? But I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> First thing you thought about was getting the fuck out by But see, the thing is, like, we got outside, and I was like, girl, take me home. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Because, yeah. you know, most people take people outside. I guess yeah. the... Get some air or some Yeah, it felt like sober you up somewhat or whatever. It, it did that. But I was just telling her, like, bro, I'm really fucked up. Because yeah. I took way more than her. See, I, we both took a shot of that cheap liquor. Yeah. I drunk all of mine. She yeah. drunk hers to, like, right there. Yeah, so it has some left and shit. Man. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, bro, I keep telling you, like, I'm, let's go home or whatever. Yeah. So we wound up leaving, but she told myself she was out of there. I was like, bro, if I would have drove, it'd have been over. For oh, real, man. it would have been over. Yeah, that shit happened to me before. Like, you going from the fucking uh, fast lane, slow lane, like uh, exactly. And like, I was like, bro, I wish I had a crib like around that time because staying with my people, yeah. trying to like, nah, nah, so, nah. So nah. you get the crib, like, homie. Let me straighten up. Like, I'm good. I'm exactly. Good. My homegirl, she lending me a space in her house. I just crashed there. I just stayed there. I was like, you know what? I can't do it. Man, <laughs> I can't do shit. it. Drink that cheap shit. Like I said, I ain't got the motherfucking Seagram Gin getting fucked up not knowing what the fuck going on and shit. I ain't walked two, three miles and shit. Like, uh, I know what it is. Like, oh, for real. I ain't tell you on oh, my high moment. Now, my high moment was 10 times funnier. What up? So... <laughs> we um it was me um and three other people i'm still cool to this day so okay. i ain't gonna say their names in this story but yeah. whatever but <laughs> they know what i'm talking what about but anyways though so um we had went out or whatever now mind you earlier that day i already had like a edible or whatever and i smoked or whatever so i was sort of straight or whatever yeah. so we had went out i think we went to like a art um a art event we went somewhere then we went to like a little we just was out all night yeah. so it was this guy or whatever um that he was selling um his shirts or whatever and then he gave me and my friend both a purple um little it looked like a little um one of the little gummy candies or whatever yeah. so anyways though so he gave us both. So me and her stupid ass, we took half of both. Like she took a piece what I had, she took another yeah. piece of what I had. And we eating this shit. Now mind you, yeah. I'm already fucked up prior to this, but it ain't hitting me right now, yeah. right? So we she did not tell me to like the last, last minute that we had to go to a yeah. a, a, a a shoot or whatever. <laughs> I was like, bro, I don't like going to shit fucked up because yeah. that, that don't look right. You know, because yeah, I'm yeah, a whole artist and it's there. like, what the fuck? Or whatever. Yeah. So I was in the fashion show or whatever, and I walked or whatever, but why the fuck it felt like I couldn't feel the ground? <laughs> Let's just start right there. I couldn't feel the ground, and then, like, every time I walked, it seemed like the fucking level was like, I mean, the floor Man. was, like, kind of, like, going in, like, sinking a little bit. I'm like, like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like <laughs> yeah, like, for real. And then I'm sitting up here, had to take niggas home. I was like, listen, y'all gonna be on your own tonight. Hell yeah, yeah. For, for real. Sure. Or what are y'all gonna have to drive? Man. Like, bruh. That shit hit you hard. Like, them four locals killed me. 
I don't know. Eight, I had a different effect off the four locos. Oh, no. Four locos had me pick up a chicken, nigga. Picking up a chicken. I was knocking them motherfucking DJ booth over. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so that four loco was pretty dangerous to me. I bust my head. I woke up my mama. I was butt naked with her phone. Even though I have cell phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, that four loco kicked my ass, boy. I mean, that bitch head bleeding. I wake up looking all white. Like, in my mama's couch. Like, what the fuck am I doing in my mama's house? Why the fuck ain't got no drawers on? I mean, that bitch just naked. Like, what up? You just don't need to try shit no more. Just no, stick to what you know. Yeah, I, 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 I am. As I get older, I, I realize that. Like, you know what? Just, just be you, cuz. Drink this crown vanilla. And they call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> just eat water, motherfucker. Eat some chicken nuggets, cuz I'm gonna do all the here. Okay. And just be good. And be you and shit. Be cool and shit. Don't fucking go crazy and shit, dog. But shit, man, it was it was fun having you on here, man. We talk about some crazy shit. Give a uh, give the people your um your social uh uh platforms and like where you can find your album and stuff. Well, y'all can follow me on all social sites. It's Nadia M Pain N A D I A. The letter M Pain P A Y N E. And you can really catch up with all my songs on all um digital streaming platforms: Apple, okay. Spotify, you name it. It's all there. You got any new shit coming out? Oh yeah, four twenty. Okay. Be on the lookout. Guess. Ah. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, see, when you had the M, I'm like, I'm not knowing that's your middle initial. I'm, I'm that thinking, is. I'm thinking your name is not the M. No, God, <laughs> and you know I be having to correct that with a lot of people. I'm about to announce you like not the M pain. Like, <laughs> that's what's up. Though. So that's, that's M is your middle name. Yeah. Okay. 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 So because somebody apparently go by Nadia Pain. At least that's what Instagram and all the other sites. Yeah, be so you said you got some shit coming out on four twenty, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, it's a full project. No, it's a weed song, basically. It's called okay. Gas. Okay, okay. When you looking to drop another album? Or are you just taking your time? Hey, actually, um, as far as the album, I'm taking my time, but I will be releasing like an EP this okay, year. So, so. Yeah. I haven't put a date on it yet, but it's yeah. going to come out this year. You should year go ahead and get on this one nigga that ain't shy of shit. Like, you, oh, you my know, God. <laughs> and like I said, be on lookout on fucking Friday. My oh EP my come out, uh, Shivers Day by Volume 2. You know what it is. Uh, <laughs> real shit, man. I'm fucking over these rap niggas, man. It's all good. But uh, yeah, man, it was good having you on the show. Shit, we can get you back on whenever you, you know what I'm saying, release some new shit. Always, you always welcome to come back on. Hey. So until next time, motherfucker, make sure you get some practice in before you hit that pussy. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let y'all, man. Shout out to everybody. You know what it is. <laughs>